So we're really excited to welcome all of you in because even though it's kind of rainy and yucky outside in most parts of the country, it is on the cusp of spring and we're going to be looking forward to some great things happening in the next couple of weeks. But first, let's take you shopping for a preview of some goodies coming up in the show. And first up is a one day only priced item and this is Chris Campanelli. He's here with the 42 piece premium microfiber towel set. Now, it includes towels and the mitt, but uh, guys, if we can shoot right down on the front there and show those colors. Unbelievable amount of colors and a variety of towels. You're going to love all of these great pieces, and you get all 42 pieces for less than a $20 bill. That's right. Do not wait on the gray ombre, which is over on the other side there. That's the gray ombre, where all those uh, uh, shades of gray and tan. That's my most limited. You are also going to love it because we've got it under $20, and if you're using your cue card, you can put it on six pay. How you doing? Six pay. Hey, we're making ice cream in the show today, and you know what? It's starting to warm up outside. starting to feel a little more like spring. Doesn't look like spring, but it feels like it. So we're going to make some ice cream today, and we're going to do it with our KitchenAid stand mixer. This is one of the most popular attachments for KitchenAid stand mixers, and we're going to show you how easy it is to make ice cream, sorbets, frozen yogurts, whatever you love. We're going to do it in this two-quart capacity. You know, most of the times when you have an ice cream maker, it makes like a pint of ice cream. This makes two quarts. So we're going to take you shopping for that in just a little while. Three easy payments goes away end of day today, and we'll tell you all about that coming up in just a little while. Now, as you know, our month-long theme is all about foodie family and friends. So we turn to our foodie family to bring us some of their best recipes that we could share with all of you. Now, for about the last seven years, you've heard us talk about Carol, one of our chef food stylists, who makes the amazing mac and cheese, and many, many thousands of you have asked for the recipe. Well, we thought not only would we do the recipe today, but introduce you to Carol. Okay. Carol is here, our food stylist Hi, and chef. How long have you been with QVC now? I've been here about 15 years. About 15 years. Mm -hmm. I have known you all of those 15 years. Yes, you years. have. It's been it, my pleasure. It has been my pleasure. But we are so thrilled that you're here with your eight cheese mac and cheese. And you were telling me you developed this recipe for your daughter, who, like me, loves mac and cheese. I did. Eve is nine years old, and her favorite food in the world is mac and cheese. But she doesn't want any just mac and cheese. She wants over the top, cheesy, yes, cheesy, she does. delicious. She is a dairy girl. All right. I love her. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, and what we've already done here, Carol, is we mm -hmm. cooked off your pasta. This is the Campanelli pasta, yes. that, which means, uh, Chris Campanelli tells me, it means bells. Bell. Little bells. Little bells. bells. It holds the sauce. Yes. Now, here's your trick. You use the supermarket shortcut. I do. Two jars of bottled Alfredo sauce. Correct. Now, if you want to pour that one in, we've sure also thing. got one here that has been poured in but needs a little heavy cream. You've got a little trick to get the rest of the Alfredo sauce out. You pour I heavy do. cream in the bottle and give it a shake, don't I you? I do. And that way we get all the rest of the Alfredo sauce and we get a little extra heavy cream. Right. Because this is no calorie left behind mac and cheese. <laughs> all right. Which this is we not love. for the lighthearted. No, 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 no. Now, then you, we talk about eight cheeses. Yes. This is Gruyere. If you'll help me, we'll start putting Correct. these in. There's the Gruyere. So Gruyere has a, has a very nice melt to it. And that's why I use the Gruyere. And it's and got kind of a little a bit of a sharpness and a nuttiness yeah. to it. And then this is Mott's. Yep. Again, nice and melty. This is cheddar. Cheddar. Love cheddar. That's Eve's favorite sharp? cheese. I do use a sharp, sharp cheese. Sharp, yeah. And then to get the rest of our cheese blends, there are four in here. This is the Italian pre shredded from the Correct. supermarket. Yes. So there are four cheeses represented in there. I'm guessing Parmesan, Romano, Asiago, yes. et cetera, et cetera. And then later in the recipe, I want to give that a stir, my darling. Sure do. We're going to start then, and then later we're going to add fresh mozzarella, like big slices in it. On the top, you betcha. And then later we're going to show you how we prep the dish to go into the oven. And it calls for some steps that I think you're going to find surprising but helpful. Yes. And we're going to tell you all about that. Here's the finished sample in this brand new three quart oval baker from Le Creuset, Beautiful oval which baker. is debuting today in the emerald green. PSN, by the way. <laughs> so we've got all that coming your way. And Carol, I must say, it's a thrill to have you on the air with Thank us. Thank you. You very have been much. behind the scenes all these years. It was I high have. time America got to meet you. <laughs> Very it's nice to meet you. Thrilling America. to have you here. Thank you. All right, my dear. We're going to uh, show you the next step a little later in the show, and we're also going to check in with Stacy, who is standing by with, I believe, side dishes for Easter. Yeah, Carol's mac and cheese is not the only mac and cheese in the house. I have a hot pick coming up from St. Clair's. This is a side dish combo, and what you're getting are three different side dishes, perfect for your Easter table or really any time of the week. So what you're going to get two pounds each of a cornbread dressing. How about the St. Clair four cheese mac and cheese? That's mac and cheese you don't have to make. Delicious. And then what we don't normally see but is here for this is the two pounds of the green bean casserole. And I can tell you 
No canned ingredients are used in any of these dishes, including the green bean casserole. We have this on two easy payments for under $25. Delicious, easy. All you do is heat it up, cook it, and eat it and enjoy. We love it. So make the holidays easy with St. Clair's. All right, time now for a little trivia off the top of our show. Did you know we had National Meatball Day? Is that today or was that yesterday? Here. Yesterday, okay, but in honor of it, how many meatballs does Mama Mancini sell in a year? By the way, Mama Mancini in the show. Is it 10 million, 25 million, 30 million, or 45 million? We'll reveal the answer later, but please let us know your guess in the chat happening on David's Facebook page in the live stream, David Venable QVC. But now let's kick it off with an item less than $20 that's really going to help clean up. We call it Simply Clean. Yeah, we love it. Well, you know what? Probably a good time to roll up my sleeves as we begin the show with Simply Clean and a one day only priced item. And welcome in, everybody. It's Sunday. I'm David. This is In the Kitchen with David. We're going to begin with a one day only uh, priced item from Campanelli. This is their 42 piece premium microfiber towel set. And how many? 150 sets are already gone. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of us are going to be spring cleaning here in the next couple of weeks. And if you've got the right tools for the job, the job goes more quickly, then we get to eat sooner, and that's always a good day, right? Right. All right, so let's come over and meet Chris Campanelli, who's back yeah. with us. Oh, look at you. A little Completely back. clad in microfiber, aren't you? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we're talking about 42 pieces of these premium microfiber towels. And what's really exciting about this also, we've got it at a great one day only price. What does that mean? You never know when a one day only is going to pop up. Right. And when it does, you're looking at the lowest price you're going to see on that item for six months. Right. You're also looking at a price that's only good for the day in which it's presented or until the item sells out. So it's end of day that it's presented okay. or until it sells out, whichever comes first. All right. So at end of day today, this will be gone unless, of course, we sell out of it sooner. Already about 200 of these are gone. Wow. Show us what we're getting. Yeah, so you get 40 of our workhorse microfiber towels, right, in four different colors, kind of an ombre effect, so 10 of each. And then you get two of our mitts. Now, these were put in our puppy fur towel kits, and they were so super popular that we said, you know what, at customer request, let's give you some normal workhorse microfiber mitts in the microfiber set. These are great for, let's say, if you're cleaning in the bathroom, you want to get around the fixtures so that maybe, uh, you know, if you're cleaning the commode and your hand doesn't have to touch. All that stuff. These are so great for that as well because they conform to all of those tight little niche spaces. Now, we also have great colors for you, and sure. I want to let you know now 200 are gone. Wow. And we're very, very busy. Now, here is the delineation with the colors. You get 42 of these towels, so we're going to uh, uh, make the mark right here in between these two. So, this color that you're looking at first is called blue ombre. Then, closest to me is the gray ombre. Do not wait on this collection because I'm told it's the most limited and going quickly. Wow, that's my and favorite. And you've got colors of gray and tans in here. Yes, sir. Tops. Then in this color collection, we're calling this purple ombre. And then finally on the end, that bright, sunny, springtime orange ombre is also popular. Now, 400 sets are now gone. Wow. If you were hoping for easy pay today and you have a cue card, guess what? You not you don't have three as you normally do. You okay. have six. Oh wow. We're doing six easy pays on any item you pay for with a cue card until end of day today on air and online. The only exception is gift cards. So you want to put this on six pay? Use your cue card. Very, very easy. All right, let's get started. Yeah, so David, why in the world would you want to buy microfiber to clean around the house? I think if you look, if you give me a couple minutes, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of most of the disposable products that you use in your home. Originally, we said, you know what, the Campanelli family mission is to get rid of the chemicals in the house because our mom is chemical sensitive. But then we took it one step further and said, how about we get rid of the paper towel and the mop pads and the dusters and all of the disposable makeup wipes and things of that nature? Because ordinarily, what you would have to do, this is a a big extreme exaggeration, it's axle grease on the window. What you have to do is you have to go to the store, you have to buy a chemical, then you have to spray it on there to try to emulsify that, right? Then you have to grab the paper towel after paper towel after paper towel after paper towel, and this is supposed to, you know, lift this up and clean it. It's really not doing a whole lot of anything but making a bigger mess. And Dave, when's the last time you grabbed for one sheet of paper towel? Oh, no, you, you, you yeah. end up pulling off five or six, right. right? And then this goes into the trash can, and you have to go back and do it over again and over not again. Not to mention eventually the landfill. That's correct, right? So this is microfiber. Microfiber is so different than anything you can get at the grocery store because it's designed to lift, trap, and remove that mess in one pass. Now, David, so much so that we're going to take this white tissue. There is not a speck of grease on here. There is not a cleaning tool in your house. I don't care if it's paper towel or a sponge or an old cotton rag or anything like that that is going to do the job like microfiber. And talking about ending up in the landfill, David, we throw away 
15 billion pounds of paper towel in oh this country word. per year. And not to mention how much of that is wasted because we end up taking five or six off at a time. That's right? correct, absolutely. And I'm certainly guilty of that. So this is going to be a great way for you to clean and be more responsible all at the same time. I yes. can tell you now we've taken orders for 1,500 sets wow, are now gone. You. These are a one day only price of 1992. You're getting 42 towels or 42 pieces, I should say. Correct. Two of those pieces are microfiber mitts. The mitts, yes. So you can dust with them. You can get into your car with these, into that entertainment center, clean Carolyn Gracie on the TV. I mean, <laughs> very easy. And then when they get dirty, just throw them right into your washer. Exactly. Now, do you suggest line drying these or put them in the dryer? Put them right in the dryer. Just don't use fabric softener. Correct. All right. So let's go through color choices again and remind you that we've got lots of colors for you to choose from. The first is called Blue Ombre, and you're going to get all these beautiful colors of turquoise and greens and blue. That's very popular. Most limited now is um, Gray Ombre. I have 1,200 left in the Gray Ombre. Oh, wow. When those are gone, we'll take them off the set. Yes, sir. There's no advanced order. Okay. All we have is what we brought in for the day. Then to my left is Purple Ombre, really pretty. And then on the end, just in time for spring, Orange Ombre. So you've got yellows and golden rods and oranges and tangerines and yellows. Really, really pretty. V36104. If you were hoping for easy pay today and have a cue card, well, this is your lucky day. Ordinarily, we do three easy payments on anything you buy anytime with a cue card. Until end of day today, anything you buy on air and online with your cue card is six easy payments. Six. Six. That's crazy. That's awesome. So here's what I love about microfiber. You saw here that I used it kind of dry in this window to get rid of that grease. Now I'm going to use it with only water to tackle this tough, greasy mess on this stovetop here. This is burnt on gravy browning. It's an extreme exaggeration, but it's we're using only water to show you that you don't have to go to the store to buy a specialty cleaner. It's a super gentle project or product because you're using microfiber. It's lifting, it's trapping, it's removing that mess. Everything's trapped in the towel. Now I do is I flip it over and then I just kind of wipe it up right after myself and. David, not I'm not going to the store and I'm not buying more disposable products. This is going in my washing machine and in the dryer, and I use it over and over and over again. Let me tell you now, 3,000 of wow. these are gone. Thank you, we are very, very busy. Lots and lots of you are making your choice now. And you know what I love about multicolors in a set like this, Chris? What's that? I love it that I can take one color and put it in the kids' bathroom. Okay. I can take one color and leave it in the kitchen. Right. I can take another color and put it in the mudroom or in the garage. I agree. Or throw a couple in the car of a different color. Agreed. You've got one, two, three, four different stacks of towels here in terms of color. Right. And then that way you can just leave them wherever, and then that way they only clean in those parts of the house. That's correct. If you want to do it that way. Sure. Now, blue ombre is what you're looking at first. Very popular. Now, very limited is gray ombre. I have 400 left oh, in the gray wow. ombre. That's going to go. Wow. This will sell out in gray ombre if you want it. I've got fewer than 400 left. You want to be on the line now for that. Here it is in purple ombre. Really, really pretty. Magentas and pinks and purples and and uh, and whatnot. And then on the end, I've got orange ombre. And we have now taken orders for over 4,000 sets. Wow, thank you, everybody. Please use QVC.com and mobile apps. That's going to be your best ordering experience now. What do you have here? Now, this is Greasy Waxy Crayon. I'm using all of these three different surfaces to show you that this can be used on any surface of the house, right? So, again, just a microfiber towel and water. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of tackle this mess. Now, I like what you said, David, about using the different colors in different areas of the house. Now, some of these colors are very similar, but what I do at my house, I use these towels every single day in my house without fail. What I do is I have, say, the blue ombre that I use for the bathroom. Okay. And then I have the gray ombre that I use for the kitchen, just so that I know and don't make any mistakes that I'm not using the same towels that I used in the bathroom on when I'm drying um, dishes and things of that nature. Yeah, and when you're uh, working on a cooking service. Chris, let me just do a quick update sure. on colors. Sure, sure. Over on this far end is orange ombre, really pretty and perfect for springtime. Then we've got your purple lovers. Purple ombre. I have fewer than 2,700 left wow, there. Wow. On the far end here is your blue ombre. The second most popular, and that reminds me of being at the beach. Oh, I love it. Which is just marvelous. But gray ombre is gone. Oh, goodbye. Gone. So long. So Brianna is going to come out and take this from me. There you are, my darling. What? Look at the camera. That one. There <laughs> she is. That's our girl, Brianna. Thank you. All right. So very, very busy. No easy pay on this unless you're using your cue card, and then you've got six. But only until end of day today. How many gone now? 
5,500 are wow. spoken for. Wow. Now, your kids are out of high chair. They age, are. They are. But they're, they were in it for a while. They were in it for a while. And That's you true. were in it to win it, to clean it, weren't you? I am, because I don't want to have to use chemicals around my kids, right? So here's the best thing about these pro this product here. It's made of microfiber. What you're going to do is I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm not going to impact the landfill. I'm not going to impact my wallet. I'm going to put it in my washer and dryer instead of going back to the store to buy more disposable products. Think about it. When you go to the store, do you see aisles and aisles of disposable paper products or do you see aisles and aisles of microfiber? Uh, disposable paper products. Right, because they want you to come back and buy it over and over, over again. Over and over again. You don't see microfiber very often Correct. in the supermarket because that's something that is more sustaining. Correct. And the supermarket folks want you to buy more. They want you to come back. That's what right. we want you to do is buy microfiber so you're saving money in the long run. That's correct. Absolutely. Exactly. 6,500 sets are now gone. We have sold out of the gray ombre and you, oh, we need a uh, show size of towel. Oh, sure. All right, let me grab one here. Do we have uh, one back there? Yeah, sure. I have a whole set back That way here. I won't uh, disrupt your display. All right. Here we go, folks. Here is the size of the towel. 12 by 12. 12 by 12. Okay. Hopefully, uh, Stacy, is that helpful? Yes, yes. 12 by 12 inches. And, oh, and can I tell you guys about the mitt? Yeah. If my hand fits in it, anybody's hand's going to fit in it. It is a big mitt. It's substantial. Because yeah. I've got gorilla sized hands. And, David, do you want to know why we don't put a thumb in our mitt? Why is that? Because you can use the one side to clean and then you can flip it around. And then you, what was that noise you make? That's the one. Flip it around and clean with the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See, I see you and I. We should take the show on the road. We should. All right. Hey, um, <laughs> let, are we going over here yet? I just want to show you the mop pads, right? Okay. So we got rid of paper towel. We got rid of chemicals. How about getting rid of the disposable mop pads in your life, right? So if you have one of these disposable mops already, that's fine. You can keep it and use it. But instead of going to buy these pads. Take a microfiber towel, wrap it around it, and stick it in these little holes that are on the top. Then take a spray bottle and fill it with some water. And now what you can do is instead of using these disposable paper products on the floor, if it's raining in your area like it is in ours, or if it's snowing, and then the, you let the dogs out and they come in or feel it. Ooh, look, let the dogs that. out. Well, look at that, right? See, look at this, David. Now, this right here, this is great because this is not going to end up in the landfill. This is going to end up in my washing machine and my dryer, and I'm not going back to the store to spend more money endlessly on disposable products. 7,500 sets are now gone. You, Let me go through color choices again real quickly, Chris. Sure. And show you on this far end, I've got it in orange ombre. And these are perfect colors when you're wanting to give a great big pop of color for springtime. Agreed. I've got fewer than 3,000 in orange ombre. Wow. Purple ombre, very popular. I have 2,200 left in the purple ombre. Okay. Sold out of the gray ombre. That's true. And we still have blue ombre over on the far table. We'll get a quick look at that. And in that blue ombre, we have 4,200, but that's also been one of our more popular choices. Yeah, that's, a, that's why Please I like that be one aware too. that this price will expire end of day today or when the item sells out, whichever happens first. If you were hoping for easy pay and you have a Q card, you don't have three as you normally do. Today you got six. Wow. So put this on six pay if you're paying with that Q card. And that's the only way you can get the easy pay on this item today. So let's take this. To, to your electronics, right? You take for granted that you navigate these screens with your fingers. You can go to the store and buy one of these little towels. It could cost you as much as $10, but don't do that because you have 42 of these towels. Watch this, David. I'm going to take a quick swipe and show you the, the dramatic before and after with this, how oh, see, quick microfiber great. cleans, right? And the same thing goes with your phone, David, because you touch your phone and you put it up to your face. So because you get so many of these towels, take some of these, put some in the center console of the car. You know how sometimes you get that haze on the inside of the windshield? You know what just happened? What happened? We are now over half gone. Oh my goodness. Of the quantity Thank we brought in for the day, it's over half gone. 8,500 wow. sets Thank are you. gone. So if you are uh, if you're looking to pay, pick this up today, now this is where the microfiber hits the countertop, the, roof. the mirror. All right. The dashboard. Or anywhere in between. Anywhere in between. <laughs> exactly. This is what's great. This is what I love about these microfiber mitts, okay? Because we have no thumb inside, you can flip it and use it on either side. So take a, a little spray bottle around the house. So if you just keep one maybe around the countertop or in the kids' bathroom. Cosmetics. You have cosmetics on the countertop. That's okay because now what we can do is we can use this mitt. We can clean that up, right? You see how all of that, uh, all of that cosmetics is on here? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. You can see I have another side. And then I'm going to take this, give it another little spritz. And I'm gonna come after this sink here, right? Soap so, scum. Soap scum or toothpaste. I know with my kids, it's the toothpaste. Not only just the sink area, but look at this, David. I can use the mitt to conform in and around the fixtures. If I don't wanna to touch the toilet bowl, you know, I can get in and around that hard area that's up against the seat and the tank. These are absolutely great for that. And again, these are all washable. You don't have to dispose of them, they're washable. Look at all of that stuff that's on here.
goes in the washing machine, goes in the dryer. Clean as a whistle when it comes out. Now, we started with 17,000 sets. If you want orange ombre, I have 2,500 left. Wow. If you want purple ombre, 1,700 all I okay. have left. And if you want the blue ombre, over across the way, we'll take a look at blue. I have fewer than 3,000 left in the blue. Now, just to remind you, one day only pricing will expire at the end of the day in which it's presented. Okay. Or when the item sells out, whichever comes first. Okay. We've already sold out of one color. Looks like purple ombre could it could easily go. Thank you. And how many ordered now, Sean? Ten thousand sets are gone. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Campanelli. Always a pleasure, Thanks, sir. Thanks, David. Appreciate nice to you. see you. We're going to check in with Stacy. Oh, Stacy. Oh, Very yes. excited about this item you're about to talk about. Yeah. Because I've been working on this with our buyers for over a year. You sure have. And I'm going to show it to everybody in a minute. But first, there's a couple things I'd love for the foodies to do. Number one, go to David's Instagram because that's where we just posted a little poll. Some fun for you to engage in. We want to know because we have the St. Clair's side dishes in the show and we have a great ham from Corky's. What type of person are you? Are you a side dish? or a main entree type of person. Cast your vote there, we'll reveal the answer. Uh, that's David's Instagram page. Also, the trivia question that we started with at the top of the show, let's reveal the answer. Remember, we asked in honor of National Meatball Day, which was technically yesterday, how many meatballs does Mama Mancini sell in a year? Was it 20, uh, 10 million, 25 million, 30, or 45 million? For those of you who guessed 30 million, Ding, 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 you are the winner. According to Daniel Mancini, in one year, Mama Mancini sells more than 30 million meatballs, and they use more than 5 million pounds of tomatoes just to make their sauce. That's every year. They are busy little beavers uh, at Mama Mancini's. Okay, so David has been, over the course of the year, trying to curate special products just for you that he truly believes in. And man, when I tell you he loves scoops, he sure does. This is a set of three multi-purpose scoops with these great soft grip handle, handles. They come in different sizes. Why? Because they can do so many different tasks. This could be your melon baller for uh, your great watermelon and honeydew. How about perfect portions for scooping out mashed potatoes like the lunch ladies always did growing up in the cafeteria at school. Or how about rice portions? You could do meatballs, you could do biscuits, the cupcake liners. He has colors, but he really worked hard on putting this together for you. One of hopefully many curated items to come straight from the man himself, David Venable. So that's coming up in just a bit. David? I'm super excited about those scoops. And Mark Charles and I are going to show you all the different ways that you'll use them and why you need different sizes in your kitchen. I use my scoops all the time. Right now, though, we're going to talk about mini cheesecakes just in time for Easter. And nobody does that better than Alan Rosen. Good to see you, sir. Nice to be here, David. Thank you. You know what? I didn't tell you this story before we went on the air. I was at a gourmet market not long ago, and I was at the dessert counter, and I looked down and I said, some of these cheesecakes look vaguely familiar to me. I said, they wouldn't be juniors by, by chance. And they were like, we source our cheesecakes with juniors. Yeah. And I was like, that's so cool. I didn't tell her what I did. Right. I just said, I've had juniors before and love them. Right. You guys are everywhere. We're everywhere, but not this assortment. But not this assortment. And not this value. Yeah, they Even had the at, bigger ones. They right. had the bigger ones. And so in this assortment, you're getting 18 quarter pound cheesecakes, three carrot cake cheesecakes, perfect for the Easter holiday. Just for Easter. Six. Easter swirl cheesecakes with the pastel colored and chips, the strawberry. strawberry swirl. Yeah. So that's great for Easter. Then you have three chocolate swirl cheesecakes, and then you have six brand new strawberry shortcake cheesecakes. Now this is our dessert of the month, and since we debuted this earlier this month, we've already taken over 3,500 orders, 3,500 sets, I should say, and there are 18 cheesecakes in the set, four flavor varieties. One, two, three, four, four. Yep. All right. Now we're shipping these either immediately or 4:15. And if you want it delivered now, 2100 remain. A few more to go around on that April 15th. But we begin with the classic strawberry right. swirl. Right. The most popular flavor to mix into Cheesecake David is fresh strawberries. So you have strawberry puree. You have those pastel colored chips. It says the Easter holiday is here. But truthfully, you can enjoy them anytime. But what I really want people to see is how creamy and smooth and rich this cheesecake is. We blend it for 45 minutes, David. We swirl in strawberry, not just on top for that beautiful look, but you get it in every single oh. bite, and it sticks to the fork just like you so see here. Good. I got to pick this up, folks, and hand it off to you. Yes, the guy. please, because I have not had a thing to eat today. But that's not entirely true. All right, so, mm, mm hmm. Aaron, did we ever decide 
How many years has this been on QVC, this recipe? The strawberry swirl we started real a long time 20, ago. maybe? Yeah, probably, because in our restaurants, we put fresh strawberries on top, but you can't ship a fresh strawberry. Mm -hmm. So we have to come up with other ways to get you your favorite flavors. My fave. All right, got to pace myself, though. More to taste. So next, strawberry shortcake cheesecake. Vanilla cake on the bottom, strawberry infused cheesecake, and then a whipped cream topping and some mm -hmm. fresh cake crumbs. It just works well together. It's, I, someone backstage earlier said to me, that strawberry, we've never done this before in this smaller size, but people just love it. You're going to get six of these. They're all quarter pounds. Mm. Now, I had these on Wednesday night when we presented this, and it's just amazing. It's just exactly what you would hope in a strawberry shortcake, but with some cheesecake layered in. Mm. Uh. It's refreshing, and really, the flavors are so bright. I love this one. Yeah, it really, really works nice. well together. Mm. It's true comfort food. Yummy. Next up, chocolate swirl cheesecake, but it's really mostly chocolate. It's about 85% chocolate. I described it the other night, David, as a, cho a cheesecake chocolate bar, because that's how rich and how creamy. And look at that. So it's, it's all what we say it is, David. Cream cheese, fresh eggs, sugar, heavy cream, in this case, Chocolate swirled with our vanilla cheesecake in the middle. Well, it's amazing. I'm ready to give this a try. Now, remember, we're shipping this either immediately or April 15th, and you can also do auto delivery. But remember that this is the perfect way to scratch desserts off your to do list for Easter. Keep them in your freezer for up to six months, David. Mm -hmm. You will have zero waste with these individual cheesecakes. This is so good. Thank you. Oh, my word. Every one is better than the last. Thank you. And last but not least, I want you to see what's in this carrot cake. If you get a close up shot there, you can actually see in the bottom, okay, there's carrots, there's raisins, there's applesauce, there's pineapple, there's no shortcuts. New York style cheesecake right through there. Cream cheese frosting on top, which is actually ours is actually a blend of cream cheese and buttercream frosting, about 50 50. And that way, David, you get oh, the perfect bite every it time. It looks perfect. But you, you know, can see all the inclusions in that carrot cake. Fresh carrots, raisins, uh, allspice, mm -hmm. pineapple, Ooh, applesauce. There's pineapple in there. Yeah, there is. Let me show you real oh, quick. Yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, it's so good. And it's everything you expect. It's like that cheesecake is almost like the cream cheese frosting, except right. even better. Thank you, because mm. we blended some buttercream in there. Right. This is how they're going to come. I recommend you keep them in your freezer for up to six months. Work straight from frozen. No need to defrost overnight. Just press on the bottom, pop out your favorite flavor whenever, and in about 30, 45 minutes, you've a perfectly defrosted New York style cheesecake. Alan, the only thing left to do after tasting all four is the happy dance. There it is. Come on. You guys, we're going to light things up for Easter time. And with dinner on the horizon, and you've got relatives coming in and you want to put together a great meal, what if we could take desserts off your to do list? Now, we also have Corky's ham coming up in the show. What a great meal Wouldn't that would be. Wouldn't it be great if you had the ham already done, the desserts already done, and then you could concentrate on sides? But wait, we have side dishes coming up in the show as well, and Carol's mac and cheese. So, how in the world could it be a bad day? It's not, is the answer. Now, 4,000 now gone. If you want it delivered now, 1,900. April 15th, more popular, 2,500 remain. Right. But remember, these are going quick. We wouldn't have had any for immediate, by the way, because we sold so many during the week. But mm. what we did is we worked this weekend so we could make some more. Oh, you did? Yes, we okay. had to. Fantastic. Again, can I tell people what they're going to get? I would again? love it. Great. You're going to get six of that strawberry shortcake cheesecake you see right there. Then as you come up, you're going to see three of the chocolate swirl cheesecakes, three of the carrot cake cheesecakes, six of our famous Easter swirl cheesecake. Again, David, these are all quarter pounders, so you're really getting four and a half pounds of cake, but you don't have to cut into a whole cake right. and have all those leftovers that sometimes you give away and sometimes they go to waste. This way, you keep it in your, in your freezer and you know you're getting 18 desserts. Some people like to share these. Well, and if you're like me, they're bite sized, but for well, other people, for you, they might split them. You know what's amazing? The calorie count on these, David, for quarter pound cheesecakes, yeah. anywhere between 330 and 380 calories. And you can have the whole cheese, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. How I great of this. how you know my protein bar that I eat some mornings is 220 calories and sometimes in the afternoon I'd prefer a cheesecake over I'm going to say bar. that protein bar is not nearly as satisfying as I the was going I was going to say or as sweet <laughs> or as 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 
as decadent fun to eat. and fun to eat. Exactly. Now, stay on the line for this. Don't dare hang up. We've got this available for you. Shipping immediately or 415, just in time for Easter. And there's also an auto delivery. Right. And it will change for Christmas. Right. Just the, the Easter swirl changes to our green and red chips. With the same strawberry. Correct. Perfect. All right. So stay on the line for this. Mr. Rosen, always a pleasure, nice sir. You, David. Nice Thank having you. you back. We're going to make our way over to. Oh, Stacey's going to mention those side dishes that I mentioned coming up, and my set of three scoops are coming up next. Thanks, David. Thanks, Wait Bob. for the scoops, David. Okay, so you want homemade, made easy. St. Clair's is going to do it for you, and we have it coming up. It is our hot pick in the show. It is the two pound side dish combo, and you're getting three two pound side dishes cornbread dressing, four cheese mac and cheese and green bean casserole. Again, none of these include canned ingredients. It's all homemade, except you don't have to do the work. St. Clair's does it for you. You use this for your Easter table. You use this for elegant holiday entertaining, or honestly, just every day of the week. Delicious St. Clair's, and it's on two easy payments for less than $25. So it's coming up in the show. But the scoops that you've been working on, David, can't wait. Tell us all about it. Well, you guys, I have to tell you, I'm super excited because about a year ago, I went to our gadget buyer and I said, you know what? I just was at a kitchen supply store and I found a whole wall of scoops. And I think that every home cook should have different size scoops in their kitchen. So our gadget buyer said, well, then why don't we do a set for In the Kitchen with David? So a year later, they're here. Now, you heard me say on Wednesday night that I wanted to start putting together other collections of kitchen utensils, and we will, but these are really exciting, and already 400 of you have dialed in for them. You're getting all three of these scoops, and they are intentionally different sizes because you will use them for different purposes in your kitchen. Now, I've got lots of great hand, uh, of colors for you, but I want to let you know that when I designed these, I wanted silicone on the handles. I wanted these easy to grip, even when your hands were a little moist, if you were baking or whatnot, you had butter on them, and they're super easy. They go in your dishwasher for easy cleanup, and you get three sizes. So we partnered with our friend Mark Charles to get these manufactured. Yeah, we did. How are you, my friend? Hello, my friend. This, I am excited about this. I'm scoops. excited too. I got to be honest with you. It's one of those things. You know, we talk about the can opener, the microplane, like essentials of the kitchen. I've always had scoops. David's always had scoops. And we looked at each other. We're like, why have? Why, why are we doing you scoops? Guys? These, if you talk to any chef out there, they will tell you, you need different size scoops for a lot of different reasons. So it's we true. give you three of them. We're going to give you a half cup. Uh, we're going to give you, I got to memorize, a quarter cup and an eighth cup. Here, and let me show you that. How to memorize it is. So the largest is half cup. Yep, half cup. The medium size is quarter, quarter cup, cup, and the little guy is eighth cup. Is an eighth of so a cup. So the way to remember that is that's the mini cupcake, average cupcake, Texas style cupcake. But you're going to use Makes it sense? for a lot more no, than just the, filling just cupcake you know liners. But uh, but we certainly will do that. You can make meatballs. You can do all yeah. kinds. Let me do colors real quick. Yeah, you do colors because we have colors. Let me tell you how many are gone. I'm so excited about these. 800 already gone. Can you hand me that card, Mark Charles? Sure. Please. Of Thank you. There you go. Okay. So orange, most limited. Then I've got it for you in the eggplant. Beside eggplant is the blue uh, teal. Teal, rather. Yep, excuse teal. me. Teal. Then I've got it for you in the black, and red is most popular. These scoops now over a thousand are gone. You're going to find that these are used for everything in yep. your life, whether you are filling cupcakes, Cakes. muffin tins, or just serving uh, chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yep. If you're making, making dumplings, uh, biscuits, or hush dumplings, puppies. hush Look at puppies. This. So there's that Texas size. This is the half a cup. What I love is remember, and here's a little trick, guys. If it's too sticky of a, of a dough you're using, spray a little nonstick spray in there. You know, your little, and it fits right in there. So there's the Texas, right? And I also point out here's that the, there's a little clearing um, scoop on the inside. If you yep. look right on the inside of the scoop, when I when I squeeze the handles together, do you see the little piece that brushes the inside? That's designed. To actually, and it's even labeled there so you can see how many tablespoons it is. Yep. It's designed to help clear out the ingredients on the inside. Yep. This was really inspired too. When I was a little boy down south, when we went to a seafood restaurant, they were called fish camps yep. in North Carolina. And I always loved the hush puppies. So one day, mom asked the way, uh, the wait person if I could go back in the kitchen and see them make the hush puppies. Yeah. So I walked into the kitchen, and the chef was there and had a great big bin of hush puppy dough. Or batter, rather. Mm -hmm. And he had a scoop like this, and he was going, foop, 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 right into the into the deep fryer. And it was the most amazing thing I'd seen in my young life at that point, because he was taking these scoops of a hush puppy batter and plopping it right into the deep fryer. And I thought, scoops you're going to use all throughout all your kitchen. Yep. Now, Mark Charles is actually using them now for biscuits. For biscuits. 
I want you guys to know that this is the kind of thing that we're going to be doing more of now and in the kitchen with David. I have been asked by our buying team to create more collections of gadgets and useful things small? in the kitchen. Yes, it is. May I use that? You can also use this for melon balling. And I think if you've got honeydew, cantaloupe, you've got uh, watermelon, and you want to do a fresh fruit, fruit salad, use this as a melon baller. 3,500 sets are gone. I need to go through colors again. We yep. just got super busy on the phones. If you want to put this on Easy Pay today, you can if you use your Q card, Mark Charles, because yep. we got six pay today. There you go. So in the orange, I'm going to get ice cream while you do that. I have 700 left. This is eggplant. Only 1,000 left in the eggplant. This is teal. Next, some might call that Carolina blue. You know, we beat Duke last night. Just want to throw that in. And then here's your black. And finally, the red. I do want to go through as we're holding on this shot what the sizes are. The little guy is an eighth of a cup. Yep. Middle size is a quarter cup. And the big size is a half cup. So you can use this to fill cupcake liners, make meatballs. You can do a melon with this. You can do cookie dough with this. You You're can do ice cream, ice with cream this. and sorbets. I, listen, the whole concept came from making ice cream. This is an ice cream scoop, guys, if you think about it. The pr it the, probably began its life it, as it, an ice cream it scoop. It began its life as an ice cream scoop. So what I love is with the three sizes, if you're going to do a big heaping thing of ice cream. And you know what we're just, making later with KitchenAid? Ice cream. Ice cream. We got the ice cream. Attachment. Then, if you're going to do sorbet, my secret is to do the small one with the sorbet. Oh, see, I like that idea. See, and you just make the little. I mean, how great is that? You're just serving something you made. Maybe you made it in your ninja, but now you can do that. Five thousand of these are gone. You know what? I also remember Dumplings. these from my from my childhood down south because yep. when I would go through the school lunch line, the lunch the lunch servers use Always. scoops to do portions, right? Yep. Matzo ball mashed soup. Mashed potatoes. Matzo ball soup. Man, Kelly's looking at me going, mashed potatoes, mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Right here, let's do the mashed potatoes since we're talking about that. <laughs> because, and I would always sweet, now imagine this, I would sweet talk the lunch lady to give me extra mashed potatoes. I totally did. Did you do that, Lauren, in this in school? Or rice. Yeah, always. If you're doing portion control and you're watching, there's that little portion of that half a cup of rice. You're able to actually do that, which we love. Remember the meatballs? A little secret that I have with the meatballs is cover your one hand just because you, you want to, you know, make sure you're, right? This is the way they do in the restaurant. Chef Mitch was telling me. Do this, flatten it, bring it down, and you just made a meatball. And you made a. And oh, you can do three different sizes, the by the way. Do okay? another one there, Mark Charles. Please. Again, put it in with the other hand, flatten it out, and drop it, and you just can do pan roasted meatballs, okay. and you can do three sizes. Yeah. All right. Let's let's all. This is going very quickly, so let's all take a collective breath. Yeah. And I'm going to do some tuna while you're doing that. Ooh, very excited. You all like these because I've been so excited about these, and we started working on these almost a year ago. And we're going to be doing more sets. I'm designing more sets. In fact, I'm working now. I mentioned Wednesday night that I'm working on a utensil set, kitchen must haves utensils. And I just met with our buyers last week. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see in, say, a five piece kitchen utensil set that we design, I'm going to do a spider for deep frying and things like that. Because we did that in Le Creuset on Wednesday night. And that's what kind of started the conversation. So let me know on my Facebook page and in the chat with Stacey. Now, 7,000 of these are gone, and that's over half gone. This is your orange. 150 left in orange. Here it is in eggplant. 650 in the uh, in the eggplant. Here it is in teal. 1400. All I have left. Mm -hmm. There's your black. 1400. And finally, the most popular is the red. And 2200 in that red. If you wanted Easy Pay today and you have a Q card, you don't have six, uh, three as you normally do. Yeah. You have six today. Six. How cool is that? So that's going to be really fantastic. Okay, I love what done. Mark Charles did here with the yeah, biscuits. Yeah, biscuits. If you're doing dumplings, if you're making hush puppies, if you're doing matzo balls, you realize you need that for all of that. And you know what's also nice about using a scoop when you're doing biscuits? You're yeah. not overworking the dough. Correct. You overwork a biscuit dough, you're going to get a tough yep. biscuit. Yeah. I want to show you over here oh, too, David. Oh, can I tell you real quickly, Mark Charles? Go. We just sold out of a color. Oh, which color? Orange. By the way, we never do orange, and orange is my kitchen color, so I'm so thrilled. Um, you love orange. Orange, I had to you're bring glad it. that you got it. Orange, you're glad orange, that you got it. Glad. I love orange. That's there what, you go. That's my influence because I love orange. Okay, we've got to update everybody. Here we go. go. So if you want eggplant, 500 left. Teal, 1200 left. Black, 1200 left. And finally, the red. 1800. Mark Charles, let's remind yeah. everybody the 8,000 are gone. I want to show you uh, or talk about capacity of each scoop. Yep. The big guy is a half cup. This is a quarter cup, and this is an eighth of a cup. If you want to look at it in another way, we also have it in tablespoons. Yeah, the top two are in tablespoons. Eight tablespoons, four tablespoons, two tablespoons. Isn't that great? And we really worked hard with Julia, our buyer, yep. on coming up with the right sizes. I asked for silicone on the handle so it'd be easy for you to grip. It's also and more comfortable to have. have it also hands. doesn't require a lot of hand strength either. Yeah. And I'll I thought that was important there. for a lot of folks. Now we started with 13,000 sets of scoops. If you want red, I have 1,500 left. Black, 1,000 now. Teal, 
a thousand and eggplant. 350 all we have left. Yes, you'll use these for ice cream. You'll use these folks to fill cupcake liners. Because yep. one of the things I struggle with with cupcakes is spilling out on top of, uh, you know, over the liner or onto the, onto the, to the uh, cupcake pan. Yep. This allows you to get right into the scoop, hit the little, uh, you know, squeeze the handle, and it just clears out all yep. the cupcake better. Ooh, look, I love, I love making, by the way, if you make matzo ball soup, or dumplings. He's a little See, secret. See, this is something I've never done, and I Grab thought this that. was great. Oh, here's the spider Naked. I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, there's a spider, right? Don't drop it in because I don't want to splatter any oil or broth. Do it right inside of there and then ease it in there. How cool now, is that? You know what? I have a recipe in one of my cookbooks for matzo balls, and what I've learned about matzo balls, much the way about biscuits and, and um, yep. meatballs, you don't overwork the matzo. Correct. Because it'll get tough. Again, I love being able to scoop things like. Um, a chicken salad, tuna salad, you name it, you can scoop it out just like they do in the diners, but you're also portion controlling if you're going to have a salad. Now, and if here's you... something that I think a lot of you probably maybe hadn't thought about. Use your scoop to portion out mm -hmm. pancake batter. So they're all the same size. So just portion it out. And you also pour. don't get a mess because when you try to pour out of a pitcher, so you, you end up having dribbles. Done. Pull another one. I'm so tickled you all let like it, these. Let it drop, then drop it. And remember, with that little that squeeze, you're actually squeezing out. You can actually get the same size portion pancakes in here too. They're really, it's one of those things. If anybody hasn't taught you that you need an essential in the kitchen, it would be different size scoops. I'm telling you, this is like the can opener, like the microplane. This is an essential in every chef's kitchen. So we began the show with 13,000 sets of scoops. If you want eggplant, I have fewer than 100. It's the last call on eggplant. Teal, 650 to go around. Black. 700 left, and in the red, 800. These are all going very quickly. Your best ordering experience right now will be QVC.com and mobile apps because we these are flying. They're and brand David, spanking eight, new. 18 years I've been here, we have never, ever, ever, ever offered our scoop before. Which is why I went to the buyers and this said, is we, like we need to do scoop. First time in 18 years that hey, I've been here. We just sold out of eggplant. Okay, Justin, buy can eggplant. I give you these? And You're gonna love these I just want to tell you real quickly, these final colors are all limited. Yep. Get yours now while the getting is good. And I'm working on new collections. If you have some ideas on those utensils, let me just say this before we move on. I've already started working with the buyers. I want to do a five piece set. Yep, we know. We are going to include the spider, which you just saw. Mm -hmm. We're also going to uh, look into um, a wooden deglazing scraper mm -hmm. for the bottom of the skillet yep. and some other goodies. If you have ideas, let me know in the chat and I'll work with our buyers. We're just beginning our discussion. Yep. And we're hoping to have those later this year. And by the way, when we gave you all these ideas, when you get the scoops home, you have more ideas on how to use them. Please Facebook David and I because we can add it to the cell or yes. and maybe add different sizes. If you love these three, we can add more. Or what colors you'd like to see. Correct. We want to give you what you want. There we're, you go. Partnership here, family. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how many we started with? 13,000. I have 400 black, 400 red, 400 teal. They're going to go. That is all. They're going to go. Mark Charles, them. thank you, buddy. Congratulations. We'll see you in a bit. Yep. Okay, where are we going next? Sunroom. This way. St. Clair Sides. Well, this is a good day. All my favorites are in one show. All right, it's a hot pick. I'm taking the long way around. All right, here we go. We're bringing you all the classic side dishes, not only for Easter dinner, which is going to be perfect, but it's also side dishes for, oh, I don't know, a random Tuesday in June, or maybe in March or April or May when you need a little extra for a side dish for a dinner and you don't have a lot of time, we're going to do the cooking for you. And St. Clair Foods is going to neatly tuck it into your freezer. This is Lauren Edmonds from St. Clair Foods Hi. in Memphis, Tennessee. Great to have you Good back. To see you. Mwah. Mwah. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so, this is your side dish sampler. We've got this for you today at under $50. What's also exciting about this is we were able to do this for you on two easy payments, I believe. You're going to see that on your screen shortly. So, we've got two easy payments on this and three classic favorites. Three classic favorites we picked especially for this season. We've got our classic four cheese mac and cheese. We've got our green bean casserole, the perfect vegetable for your Easter table. And then, I mean, you cannot have a holiday table without our cornbread dressing. Oh my gosh, this is the best cornbread <laughs> dressing I've ever put in my mouth, and I grew up on it. Um, and I think I make pretty good cornbread dressing, but I'll tell you what, this is amazing. So you've got cornbread dressing, the green bean casserole, but we'll begin with Lauren's mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. This is her personal recipe. How many cheeses in this mac? We've got four. Look at this ooey gooey four cheese mm -hmm. mac. Uh, cheddar, sharp cheddar, Asiago, mozzarella, Monterey Jack. It's delicious. Look at all that creaminess. We start with fresh cream, fresh butter, and then all the fresh cheeses, and we add it all together with these deliciously perfectly cooked macaroni uh, pastas that cook 
perfectly when you bake these off in your oven. And then, of course, we have to add more cheese on top. I'm just going to grab that little cheese right there. You know what? We're all family. <laughs> all right. So you've got mac and cheese, the green bean casserole, right. and the cornbread dressing. Six pounds of Already food. Already 100 of these are gone. You're getting wow. six pounds of food. Which is extraordinary. Hit me with a little bit of your green bean casserole right. because what's great about this, we've all seen and probably made the recipe that uses the cream mushroom canned soup. Exactly. This does not have any canned soup in it. No, that's right. We make the sauce from scratch. So we start with a cream um, and then butter and then spices and we kind of make a roux with a little bit of flour to thicken it up a little bit. And then we add um, fresh frozen green beans. They're whole green beans. Right. They're not canned. They're not that mushy, green, weird. And fried green onions beans. on top. They are cooked perfectly. So when you, <clears throat> excuse me, cook them off in your oven, they're still a little bit crisp tender. <laughs> and then you can't have green bean casserole without the crispy onion topping. Oh, come on. Woo. It's a rule. <laughs> so mm. good. Oh, my word, Lauren. It's amazing. And then last but last, not least, we have our delicious corn. Can, yes. we, can we fit it on the plate yeah, there? Girl, just, just pile it I'm in. I'm just going to pile it in. Because this is what we do on the holidays, right? right? We just pile it on. This is our cornbread dressing. I'm not fussy about my food touching. I, yeah, me either. I kind of like to mix it all together during the holidays. Yeah, right. That's, that's the best way. So I'll go in the same place anyway. Exactly. And we've got that uh, paired with the Corky's ham that's coming up. Talk about your perfect Easter meal the Corky's ham, three St. Clair right. sides, and you are done. I got to get a little, a little bite of mac and cheese. <laughs> Here we go. I know you love the mac and cheese. Mm. This is the quintessential side dish sampler. Yes. I've had all three now, so I can bust out the happy dance. There it is. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get a little crazy with it today. I'm going to oh, oh, get oh. it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> this is crazy. And you know what I love about this? We're shipping this either now mm -hmm. or April the 8th. Right. The immediate ship is more limited. This is going to be great on a random Tuesday in May, mm -hmm. as good as it's going to be on Easter Sunday. So I want you to stock your freezer with these or think about auto delivery because we're going to do that every 90 days for a year. But these are the kinds of side dishes you would make if two things were true. You had the time and the know-how. Yes. A lot of us have the know-how, we don't have the time. Exactly. And some of us have the time, but we don't have the know-how. Right. With St. Clair, you don't have to have either. We do it all. They do all the work for you. And these foods are delicious. And there's nothing here exotic, strange, or unusual. Your kids will understand this food. You will understand this food. Your guests will understand this food. It's just good, classic, down home cooking. Exactly. Comfort mm. food that you don't have to do. All you have to do is open your oven and put these pans in there. And guess what? We have put these in these nice little, they're about five by eight size dishes. Put them in your own pans. If you're going to a potluck, take all the credit. Act like you mm. made them. I give you full permission because these are real ingredients. They're going to taste like homemade. They're going to taste like you made them. So why not mm. pretend like you made them? Yes. <laughs> pretend is a better word. Not yeah, lie. Pretend. This is, yeah, just, just uh, you know, um, uh, just let them think what they're going to think. Right. Mm. We, oh, my word. Look at that. Look at these ingredients. If so, that doesn't make you hungry, your eyes are closed. Right? Open them up. We'll wait. <laughs> We've got these beautiful green beans that are just par cooked. So when you bake them off in the casserole at home, they're just perfectly crisp, tender, not that mushy canned stuff that you always get. You know, mm. that classic recipe that's like a can of this, a can of that. This is a fresh sauce with the beautiful uh, whole green beans. And then, of course, we've got our macaroni and cheese that is the creamiest, the cheesiest. We add more cheese on top to this. So when you bake mm -hmm. these off at home, it's going to smell like you've been cooking for hours. We do have the smoked ham coming up from Corky's, which would be the perfect complement with this. Absolutely. I want Lauren to show you how these come shipped to you because they're super easy to work with and the instructions are printed right on top. Right, exactly. The instructions are on top. Most of these you're going to remove, the, or all of them, you're going to remove the lid and just bake them about 375. They fit perfectly in your freezer. And if you're going to uh, keep them, guess what? These will be good through the holidays of next year. So if you don't end up eating, maybe you're ordering two sets, you don't end up eating them all for this Easter, you can actually save them even for the holidays next fall. So or invite us up for dinner, we'll eat them. Exactly. Or any night of the week, really. These are great for any night of the week. And what I recommend is you just pop the whole thing out frozen, put it in your own dish, just like we've done here. And you're good to go. I Take can't put the plate down. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. It's it's really is. It's also lunchtime, which you know is mm -hmm. tough. I could eat all day. This is amazing. These are the dishes that you're going to love. This is the kind of southern cornbread dressing, right? That not a lot of people maybe have had before, but when you taste it, you're going to love it. I re, uh, when I have made this before, I have made it with sausage in there too. Oh it's yes, so I do love sausage. a sausage cornbread. A dressing. sage sausage in mm -hmm. here, is absolutely. So good. Like a and there's sausage. a little sage in here too. You know. Well, oh, I taste the sage. Oh yeah. Which is why that sausage pairs so nicely with it. This is your cornbread dressing, two pounds. This is your mac and cheese, two pounds. And this is your um, 
uh, uh, green, green bean, bean casserole. casserole, two pounds. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that. You so, might be in a food coma by now. I'm not well, sure. you know what? I'm coming close. <laughs> um, I might just sprawl out on the floor. Can I tell you that a lot of people always ask about your bakers, and mm -hmm. these are ones your stylist has picked up, I believe, at a local department store. Yes, I if believe I remember. so. Yes. And so I know a lot of you ask about these, mm -hmm. and they are not QVC product. Uh, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe we can we can work on that for the right, future. Right. Exactly. But uh, if you go to your local, you know, store in your area that sells kitchen bakers, you'll probably find them. Yeah. yeah, and they're about five by eight uh, inches, and they're about uh, a quart and a half or so. Um, so they're really easy to find. If you if you even take the the pan or measurements, you can take that with you to a store exactly. or, or look online or what have you. You'll find it. So it's going, a very popular chain of stores that carries them. <laughs> going back to this cornbread dressing, I just wanted to touch on this really quick because I didn't really talk about the ingredients. We start with cornbread, obviously, and then also we add buttermilk mm. to this and spices. You can actually see the spices in there. It is never super crumbly. It's always moist. You can see the fresh onions, the fresh celery that we dice in-house. And it is absolutely delicious and the oh, perfect the side dish for the holidays. It is so good. And Southern dressing, A, a has no G on it, and B, <laughs> is always super moist and it's always cooked in a casserole dish. Right. Right? Nan Kelly's over there doing fist pumps in the air. She knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's from Mississippi. This is M62704. Uh, how many are gone now? 900 of these wow. are now gone. Thank you. We're going to invite everybody to stay on the line for these because they are amazing. I can't tell you in strong enough terms why you should buy these, so just buy them. Because they are delicious and you will not be disappointed. This lady, she works for a fantastic company and these recipes are top shelf. Thank you, David. Thank you, Angel. All right, we have an update for you and I'm so tickled, our scoops are gone. They have sold out. So you can be sure of two things. One, we're going to reorder those scoops. If you have more ideas on collections you'd like to see me put together for you for In the Kitchen with David, please let me know. I know you're already jumping on the chat, giving Stacy some ideas. And trust me, I read every one of those comments. So if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see in our utensil set, I'm going to put together a David's must-have collection of kitchen utensils. And we'll, we'll start working on those and hopefully have them available later this year. Do not wait on the emerald green is how we're going to begin this presentation because it's already flying out the door. This emerald green is extraordinary, brand new. We debuted it Wednesday night with our today's special value from Le Creuset. This is stoneware. That was cast iron, but we have a lot of different things on QVC.com. In this emerald green color. We're now talking about Le Creuset, and this is a company that began its life in cast iron, but very quickly branched off into stoneware. And this stoneware oval baker today is brand new, but it's really two pieces. You're getting the oval stoneware baker, and then you're getting the platter lid, which is also stoneware, which also can be a separate baking piece. So you're really getting two in one with this, and Nan Kelly is our representative. Hello, from Le how Hi, are friend. you, sir? Nice to see Good you. Good to see you. I love talking <laughs> southern and see you over there nodding at me. It's so perfect. Well, you're from Mississippi, aren't you? I am. I live in Nashville, Tennessee, so I got a double dose of that. Well, you got a whole lot of southern going on. I, I love do. that about you. And I, I but love these this. are amazing. They are. We're talking casseroles, and you, you know, you know, I, I'm one pan nan. You're one pan nan. This is where it started. My husband started calling me that because I was making all these casseroles. It fits, everything fits in the pan, and you only have one pan to wash. This is Le Creuset. You've got the wonderful enamel on these two pieces of stoneware. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what you need to know about this. You can use your baker as a lidded baker, just like this. You can use them independently. This is a baking sheet. Your platter tray can be a baking sheet or a serving tray. Yeah. This is your casserole dish. Or you can stack them, and if your oven temperatures line up, Together, you bake simultaneously, bake at the same time. Which is great. Let me go through color choices for you and tell you all. How many are gone now, Sean? Over a hundred of these are already gone. I should also tell you that the this same uh, combination at LeCrosse.com is $125. We're $25 less. Ooh. Yeah, and we're also excited that we've got this emerald green, which is brand new. Just launched on Wednesday on QVC and QVC.com. Mm -hmm. And I have only 700 of these to go around. In fact, the first color in our today's special value to sell out on Wednesday was emerald green. Yeah, this green is hot. All right, here is your cerise. Always popular in the color I'm going to order. Here it is in cassis, <laughs> which is most limited, 500. Here it is in flame. This is Caribbean. And finally, I have it in Marseille, which is named after the southern port city of France. And it's uh, meant to mimic the ocean water, mm, the ocean blue water. That's a Can I tell rich. you that over 200 of these are now gone? Wow. This three quart baker 
Isn't a nine by thirteen a three quart vessel? I, mine in my kitchen is. So this is going to hold more than your typical nine by thirteen, I believe. There you go. So you don't have to fill it all the way up. You can you can fill it as full as you want. But or if you're baking, let it bake all the way to the top. I, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, this is my Aunt Jeanette's breakfast casserole down What's in, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So you've got bread, you've got ham, you've got roll sausage, you've got eggs, little mustard, little Worcestershire sauce. I put it on mm. um, my Facebook page if you want to check it out. What is your Facebook page? Uh, one pan nan. One pan nan. That's easy <laughs> to remember. All right, so we'll check you out, and I'll follow you on Facebook. I don't oh, think I'm. Uh, are you on Instagram as well? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, we'll check you out. All right. So this is what it's all about. You're going to love this because then you've got the baking, uh, the platter lid, which can either serve as a lid or as a secondary baking service. Follow me to the can I oven open this for you? because we're going to pop this in. You know, it's oven safe. It's boiler safe. Just allow two and a half inches from that heating element. Wait to till the you rim. see this okay. because I love this. By the magic of television. And if you're baking, temperatures align. Look at this. So we've baked off our biscuits on that platter lid. How great. And then look at your casserole. So breakfast is on. I mean, you walk to the table like this. So this is your aunt's breakfast casserole. Mm -hmm. And these are the biscuits, and you cooked them at the same time. Well, you, this is like a 45 minute to an hour. So you kind of oh, so time you put it them out. In later. You put yeah. them in later, and you can do that with your own recipe. So you're saving time. Your recipes can come, your dishes can Love come it. out at the same time. Love David, it. look what we did with the mac and cheese that's Carol's recipe. Wait, you did Carol's mac and cheese, which is our recipe on the show today, look and then that. you did a dessert in the platter. Brownies in that top serving sh uh, platter lid. Look wow. how great that is. Would you like a little? Mac and cheese? Oh, well, yeah. Well, you as I like to say, there's a frog bump that's behind with a hops. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Um, all right, so what we've got for you is an extraordinary value on this. You're $25 less than uh, Look Rose. And I'm just going to do colors real quickly and then sure, I'll, then go I'll for grab it. that from you. Go for so it. 600 of these are now gone. If you want emerald, it's now most limited. 450. Here's Cerise, very popular. This is the color I'm going to order. Here it is in Cassis, 500 left. Flame. 550 Caribbean, 600 and Marseille, 700 left. This is five easy payments on your credit card. We are very, very busy and now, uh, now getting limited in that emerald. Over 700 are gone. Um, oh, cornbread. Okay, the recipe that I use for cornbread, just off the bag of my favorite cornmeal mix, fits in that baking lid. So, folks, you can take it straight to the table. Mm. You've got your chicken casserole, David's creamy French onion casserole. Mm. From my cookbook. Yeah, from your cookbook that I picked up yesterday. Oh, Two wonderful. of them that I'm so excited about. Look well, at that's that. sweet. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Look, Look at, at that this. butter. Mm. So, you can take your food right to the table. Remember, freezer safe, oven safe, dishwasher, broiler safe, as well as serving. David, come over here for Easter. Okay. So, Easter's coming around the bend. You don't have to just cook in these. My grandmother down in Hattiesburg was the quintessential Southern cook, and her table was as lovely to look at as her food was to taste. That it was gorgeous. So when you walk to your Easter table with this beautiful ham in this over three and a half Ooh. baking dish, yes. And look at the little goodies. We've got Junior's cheesecakes right here. You're using it as a serving platter. A serving platter. So how? And then baking because baking is so good in these. Remember, you're keeping hot foods hot and I cold foods hold or helping to keep them because of the insulation of how thick this platter is. So let me tell you what's happening. We've now taken orders for over a thousand. If you want the emerald green. I have 300 left. But let me also tell you, this is on five easy payments, but I've got some exciting news for you. If you're paying for this with your Q card today, we have a special offer today where you're getting six pay on anything you use your Q card on. Oh, wow. So you can actually increase this to six pay if you use your Q card. Here's more good news. Don't have a Q card yet? Today would be a very good day to apply, and here's why. If you apply for a Q card today and get approved and make a purchase of over $25, this being one, we're not only going to allow you to put it on six pay, but we're going to give you a $40 QVC credit Woo. just for joining our Q card family, which you can use on a future purchase. So if you're looking to apply for one today, you can do it one of two ways. Go to QVC.com and search Q card and apply online, or you may call one of our operators or take your application right over the phone. The most important thing to remember is that if you Apply today, get approved today, make a purchase of over $25. You've got a $40 credit coming your way, not to mention the six pay if you choose to use it. Now, here is your emerald green. Very, very popular. Now, $250. And I just want to show you that ombre. Ooh, Look how pretty this so turned pretty. out. You know, when we, when we started work, talking about a, a new color in Le Creuset for QVC, they came to me and I said, Can we do green? Can mm. we do a, a really pretty emerald green? Mm -hmm. And I think they outdid themselves. This color is gorgeous. Here, uh, 200 left in the emerald. Here it is in cerise. I also have it in cassis, which is the deep eggplanty purple. 450. Guys, can we, is there a better way to shoot that? 
There we go. Just so we can see that color a little better. There we are. And then we've got it for you in the flame, 550. Here's Caribbean, 500, and Bonnie the Marseille, 600 left there. 1400 are now gone, wow. my darling. And these look amazing. Well, this is a great set. How what a pretty presentation. Take it right to your table. It's left for say and it's so easy to clean. That's that true. enameling makes it such a beautiful thing to clean up. If you want to put it in your dishwasher, you can, but I find that a little warm soapy water in the sink, my scrub daddy does the trick. You don't hardly have to clean it at all if you just want to wipe it out because it that enameling helps it really give it a stick-free personality. And a little hollandaise a little on your asparagus. There you go. So serve, make a pretty table. Mm. Don't skimp on presentation. You've worked so hard to make the ingredients great and the right. recipe make it pretty. And Le Creuset makes my presentation look great on the table. Dan, thank you for being thank here. You. Thanks for the mac and cheese. You're We're going to check in with our Stacy and see what's going on there. Stacy, are you hungry for some mac and cheese? Uh, yeah. Do you like Rocky Road ice cream? Yes, I do. That's what I'm scooping up here because coming up in about 10 minutes, a way to make ice cream at home from KitchenAid. We're going to show you the ice cream maker attachment. Comes with an ice cream scoop as well. But here's the cool thing. Because because this, unlike many other ice cream makers, actually makes four pints of ice cream in one shot. Usually you get one pint or two. We have it coming up. It's a hot pick. It's on three easy payments, but here's the thing. You can find it, yes, elsewhere. But here, if you shop for it today, will be $40 less than the if sold separately price. So it could be ice cream. It could be gelato. I know, David, there's going to be a lot of treats for you to try coming up with KitchenAid. Looking forward to that. In the meantime, we're going to talk to you about KitchenAid. Now, if you've been waiting on a stand mixer deal, we've got one for you today. It's a sale price, which I think you're going to be awfully excited about. And once we get done with the stand mixer, we're going to come over here and talk ice cream, as Stacy mentions. Oh, that's cold and frosty. I love that. All right, we're going to talk all about that. The only downside is my scoops all sold out. We could have used my scoops on your ice cream today. Well, you're going to get a scoop with your ice cream today. Well, that will help. <laughs> <laughs> because the others are gone. That's right. Hey, this is Tina Varelli, and she is our KitchenAid representative now for almost three years yes, on QVC. Good to have you back, you. Sweet Pea. Always good to see you. This is a fantastic deal on a KitchenAid sand mixer. It's our tilt head model. Yes. So this one is four and a half quarts, meaning the bowl will hold four and a half quart capacity. That's right. It is also a 300 watt machine, which means it's good and strong. Mm -hmm. And we've got lots of great colors. But important for everyone to know, this comes with all the classic. Attachments. It does. Even the most requested flex edge beater. Which is a big, big deal. So, shall we go through colors real quickly? Yes, sure. I'm going to sneak around you here and talk to you about contour silver. This is the color I know you have in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. And this is great for anyone who is looking to pair it up. Oh, are we? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're just calling this silver. Okay. But it is certainly going to work back to contour silver. Yes. Works also back to your stainless steel appliances in your kitchen. Here it is in black. I have it in red. Gloss Cinnamon, one of our most popular KitchenAid colors on QVC. 250 left to go around there. Here's your white. 250 in the white. Next to that is the Cobalt Blue. 220 and finally, oh, not finally, Majestic Yellow. 275 and then finally the Green Apple. Here, fewer than 100. You're getting the Flex Edge Beater. You're also getting the Pouring Shield, the Work Beater, the Dough Hook, and the Wire Whip. Now, here's your value story. If you were to go to retail to build this identical offer, Right down to the Flex Edge Beater, you're looking at $353.31. We are $103.33 less. Wow. With the reduced shipping and handling, we're now $112.33 less delivered to your door. So if you go to a store to buy this mixer, they're going to give it to you in a great big box. Mm -hmm. It's going to be heavy. It is. And once your credit card clears, they're going to hand you your receipt and say, thanks for shopping with us. Leave now. <laughs> okay, go home. <laughs> Take your big old box and walk to your car all by yourself. And they might have somebody to help you to the car, they might not. Mm -hmm. If you buy it from us today, not only are you going to get the better price, but we're going to deliver it straight to your doorstep. That's right. I mean, if push came to shove, you could open the box on the porch and bring it in piece by piece, right? That's right. All right, so where are we going to begin? So here I'm using the flat beater, and this is that tilt head design that we mentioned, which makes it really easy to get those beaters on and off the beater shaft and to lift and lower that tilt head to have access to the bowl. So I'm going to lock the head on the bowl and you're also going to get this great pour shield that everybody asks for. Let me show you how to use this. So it has three tabs around the edges. So the tabs go on the outside of the bowl and this just sets on the bowl. It's not going to lock into place. So I'm going to turn that on. So in the bowl with that flat beater I have my dry ingredients and some icy cold butter. And this is where that pour shield comes in handy. When you're adding ingredients like fluffy flour and you don't want it 
having that flour puffing out of the bowl, you can use that pour shield, super handy. And when you're done and you wanna take it off, just turn it off and remove that, and that can go right in the top rack of your dishwasher. Oh, that's easy. So we're gonna use the same method here that you would use for pie crust and for biscuits, where you want that flat beater to do the cutting in of the butter into your dry ingredients. That gives you those little pockets of steam when it cooks that makes things light and flaky. This is what we're making here, this beautiful cranberry white chocolate chip scone, and that is just picture perfect, in mm. my opinion. Look oh at my. the flaky layers, the yummy white chocolate, the cranberries, it's just perfect. So this is going to help you get that great texture. So once you have the mixture combined, I'm adding my cold ingredients. So here I have egg, some cream, and some orange zest and orange juice. So you're gonna add that in, and then we're gonna add in our mix-ins. So here we have some dried cranberries, and some beautiful white chocolate chips. And these just turn out beautifully. That's the beauty of a stand mixer. It really helps you to get those excellent, excellent results. And KitchenAid has been helping you with that for 100 years. We started in 1919, it's now 2019. So for 100 years, we're bringing you quality products for your kitchen, we only bring you prop we only bring you products for your kitchen. So this is that same beautiful metal construction, beautiful metal bowl with a handle on it. You're gonna get that power hub that hasn't changed in in a hundred years. Mm. It's amazing. So it really turns your stand mixer, oop, did you get to see that? Into the power hub of your kitchen. That little square rotating there is what you plug your power hub attachments into. So our our dough is done and look at the beautiful beautiful texture those are going to bake up perfectly they look beautiful. and that's what it's all about it's all about having that aid in your kitchen having that perfect tool that is going to help you get those quality results that you want it's going to kind of hold your hand and take you on that journey of getting great results all right let's hit our colors again showing you that we've got some great things for you to choose from this is the silver most popular next to that is the black here is your KitchenAid Red, gloss cinnamon, beside the gloss cinnamon is white, then cobalt, majestic yellow, and then on the very end of the table there, green apple. Seven dozen all I have left in green apple now. This is not only customer top rated, but it's also a tremendous value. $353.31 is what you'd pay at retail for this identical pack up. We're going to bring it to you. Uh, it's going to come in at $103 less with us today. And then when you add in the reduced shipping and handling, we're over $112 less wow. delivered to your door. What's next, Ms. Tina? So we're going to move away from baking and into making a savory dip. So oh. we're going to make mini spinach artichoke dip empanadas. Nice. That's what those are there. I so like here that. again, so easy to put on your bowl. You just twist it into place until it holds. Add on your beater, give it a twist, and you're good to go. So I'm using that Flex Edge beater, which is really great for all kinds of dips and spreads. Here I have some softened cream cheese, and I'm going to let that Flex Edge beater do the work. It's going to move around that bowl, scraping the bowl as it goes through that planetary mixing action. What that means is the beater is moving in one direction while it's revolving around the bowl in the other direction, and that helps you to get the creamiest cream cheese mixtures perfect for cheesecake. So now we're gonna add in the holy trinity here of creaminess. So we have our cream cheese. We're adding sour cream and mayonnaise. Okay. Yumminess in every dip recipe. And then we're adding in some chopped spinach, frozen, squeezed, dried, some chopped artichokes. Canned and drained, yeah. Canned and drained, that's right. Parmesan cheese. You could also add a little mozzarella cheese, a little tiny bit of hot sauce. Oh, nice. A little garlic chopped punch up. punch out the flavor a little bit. A little salt. You could add a little pepper if you like, and some green onions. And this is going to make a lovely creamy dip, that dip that we all know and love. 
and you can just bake that up in a casserole if you wanted to, or you can make these fun little empanadas. Aren't they cute? Yeah, refrigerator dough, right? Yeah, refrigerator dough, little empanadas, and it's good as two bites, and inside there is your yummy, creamy Yum. spinach artichoke dip. I love that. So as we wrap up on this, I'll remind you we're six easy payments with reduced shipping and handling, but you know what? I scream, you scream. Oh my goodness. We all scream for ice cream. That's right. Let's head over and talk ice cream. And this is exciting, Tina, because what we're talking about is the ice cream attachment. And did I hear correctly as we talk about this being a hot pick as well, is this one of the most popular KitchenAid attachments? It is. For the stand mixer? Right, for good reason. Who doesn't love some fresh, homemade ice cream and it's made so easy here using your KitchenAid stand mixer. So this bowl is going to fit on any stand mixer that is four and a half quarts or larger. Just to be clear, it will not fit the mini three and a half quarts. It will do the tilt head and the bowl lift. It, exactly, it will fit them all. So what you do is you put this bowl inside is some special liquid that gets super, super cold when frozen. So you put this bowl in your freezer, I like to say for a good 24 hours, and then you're really good to go. I keep mine in the freezer all the time, is that so right? then I'm ready to make ice cream all the time. So this is candy bar vanilla ice cream, and we're just gonna add in some little mini Reese's peanut butter cups. So in about, oh, I don't know, depending on the recipe, 11 to 30 minutes, you're gonna have your ice cream at the soft, serve stage. Mm. So that's just where that is right now. We can stop and take a look. If you want it to be completely frozen, you can pack it into a container and that's what we call ripening. When it has gotten really firm in the freezer, you want to ripen it and you can pack it in any kind of container that you have. Even a lock and lock would work perfectly. But well, that is... Me, I might have gone into the bowl. <laughs> And it's delightful. Isn't that good? Mm. And this scoop here is the scoop that mm. I was using. You're going to get this with your ice cream attachment. So that's handy. It's a nice ergonomic, super sturdy. It's not going to bend at all when you're scooping into some. Let's some... take a quick look at what you're going to get in this pack up. You're going to get the ice cream draw, uh, two quart uh, bowl. That's right. This is the one you're going to freeze. Uh, overnight in the in the uh, freezer before you use it. That's right. You're also going to get what you call the dasher. The dasher. All right. I would have called that the ice cream paddle, but dasher sounds more fancy. <laughs> and then you're going to get this wonderful KitchenAid branded ice cream scoop. It says KitchenAid on the handle there. You're in addition to that, you're going to get a use and care guide that has some basic ice cream recipes in it. It does. To get you started. And then of course you can always look online for these kinds of recipes. Right. Go to the product information page. That's go to your right. Facebook page. That's right. All of this works out. How many of these gone now? 600. If you have anything, you have a four and a half quart or above. Four and a half quart or above. So that means the only thing this doesn't work on, let's just say it this way because I think it's easier. Yes. Doesn't work on the mini. That's right. But works on every other stand mixer. It does. Yeah. Any other KitchenAid stand mixer it will work on. And a beautiful thing about this ice cream maker is it's going to make up to two quarts of ice cream. That's four pints. That's a lot more than a lot of, lot of you know, ice cream makers on the market. And Look at your lock and lock. It's going to fill this up plus. This is 1.9 quarts. So it's even going to fill up more than that. That's a lot of ice cream. And all, and in one batch. In one batch. Oh, my word. Let me tell you also, I'm still grieving on the vanilla with the peanut butter cups. <laughs> um, this is three easy payments. Mm -hmm. Easy payments goes away end of day. At retail, this same pack up is $92.98. Right. Oh, 93 bucks. We're over $40.50 less. Wow. And on three pay. And it works on any stand mixer except for the mini. Over a thousand are now gone. What's wow. next? So let me show you how you work it. So this is the little attachment that is going to go here on the shaft. So it's going to have an A and a B marked on it. B is when you have a bowl lift stand mixer. Oh. A is when you have a tilt head. And those directions are right in the use and care guide. So all you do is slide this over the shaft there. It's not going to lock or click. It has some like silicone grippers there that hold that into place. So that and this, that's all you need. So this is your bowl right from the freezer. That's going to twist or click right in to your bowl lift. Just twist it into place. Do you see these sides there? That's to go on the bowl lift if you have those edges to click it in there. In here is the dasher. It just sits inside. There's a little bump on the bottom and a little divot that that's going to fit into. 
Mm. So then when you lower it, you just want to line it up, and that's actually what locks it into place. So I always start on the stir speed unless the recipe says otherwise. So you want to make sure to have the dash or moving before you add your mixture, David. This what are you making here? Raspberry sorbet. Oh, yum. Oh, my gosh. It now, is, how long will this take? This one takes about 20 minutes. Okay. So they all range. You know, some are shorter, some are longer, because some recipe, recipes make a larger quantity. Mm. So you're just going to let that go for as long as the recipe calls for. Remember, it's going to make a soft serve stage, and then you pack it into a container, and that's when it's ripened. Now, we do want to make it clear, these little containers don't come with. But um, where do we find these containers? You can get them um, online online at like a kitchen supply store, or you can just use your lock and lock containers. Do, do craft stores have them sometimes? They might. Some of they, the... they might, but it's a little more specialty than that. It is. You probably could just search them on the computer and probably have them delivered. So look at that. You have to taste this because it yes, just please. tastes like summer. I can't wait. 2,200 of these are gone. The only problem I have with this is that the spoon is, is Barbie size. <laughs> and. Uh, mm. Oh, well, boom. <laughs> that is a little spoon. Mm. It's amazingly good. Here's a bigger spoon. That's okay. I make okay. it work. I'll put my whole face good? in. Um, can I tell you that we, how many are gone now? 2,300 of these wow. are gone. Let me show you again what you're getting, Tina, if you'll excuse me. Sure. I love this sorbet. It's so, you're right. It's so refreshing. Isn't it good? It, and you know what? It's not, it's still winter, right? But it's warm today, warmer and raining, and it's muggy in here today. That is lovely. Here's your ice cream bowl. We also are going to give you the dasher, the, the dasher. paddle that stirs the ice cream. That's right. You're going to get this little gizmo, which attaches on and will either go one way for the bowl lift, the other way for the tilt. That's hand. right. And then you get your gizmo is the technical term. For it. <laughs> yeah, little gizmo. And then you get your KitchenAid branded ice cream scoop. And don't forget, we're going to give you a couple of recipes in here for standard ice cream. Right, twelve recipes. Yeah. So more than a couple, you get twelve. Uh, do you have any questions on ice cream, Stacy? You're okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, because usually, oh, your mic is up. Do you want some ice cream? <laughs> I want that raspberry sorbet. Oh, oh my it gosh. Here, it is Do we so have some? good. Yeah, I have a okay. clean spoon. Here's a fresh spoon. Here, baby, just eat right out of the container. There you go. We'll do. You're the best. We're all friends. Donka Shay. Come up here and tell everybody okay. what you think of it. Uh, the ice cream maker? No, I, no, no. Oh, what do you think of this? <laughs> it's so good. I would also like your opinion on the ice cream maker, but I'd like you to tell me what you think of that first. Uh, Isn't that yummy? That is amazing. Isn't that good? So I love raspberry, flavor. raspberries, and it's so hard to find. Yeah, treats made with raspberry, unlike you know, you Danish, of course. And right. when you make it, Tina, Hold you know exactly what's inside. You do really. Yeah. You know the ingredients, and it's really simple ingredients, and it's not overly sweet. No, not know? at all, and not overly tart either. Exactly. It's a perfect combination. Think your boys would like well that? Well done. They would totally love it. They'd put chocolate sauce. Oh. Like you know the syrup in the bottle. Of course. Oh, could you please? Oh. <laughs> Tina no. always delivers, right? You know what? Tina doesn't play. Uh -uh. All right. I know. Honey, enjoy. <laughs> Chat's going well? Excellent. Excellent. They're loving this. Oh, uh, well, you know what? No, no surprise. How many gone now? Great. Day in the morning. 3,600 wow. of these are gone. You are saving over $40.50 from, uh, from what you'd pay at retail on this. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. This is remarkable. And let me just be clear again on what this fits on. The only stand mixer from KitchenAid it does not work on mm -hmm. is the mini. Right. Everything else it works on, the tilt head, the bowl lift, right. anything that's four and a half quarts or higher. That's right. And here you can see where we're using those end pieces to fit on the arm. There's actually two holes there because there are different models of that bowl lift model. So I have this, some exciting news. What? Over half the quantity is gone. Oh, my goodness. So Over 4,000 are gone. So look at this chocolate Rocky Road ice cream. So when you're adding add-ins, so we started the chocolate ice cream and then I mixed in little mini marshmallows and walnuts. So you add those during the last two minutes of the churning and Rocky just Road? look at that. Here, let's Rocky Road. Let's dish some of this up. We need to dish some of this up for our camera operator because he likes Rocky Road. So look at Is he gonna get the Barbie spoon too? He's gonna get the Barbie spoon. Well just buckle up. All right, so there is our Rocky Road. What do you like? Chocolate sauce? Chocolate sauce? Yeah. Yeah, he said. And maybe a little marshmallow topping. Well, it's an embarrassment of riches, isn't it? Okay. Can we I'm gonna bring this over here, guys. Can we get uh, pick him up on robotics? Forty five hundred. Mm. He's one of the hardest working dudes in the studio. He's gotta have some ice cream. There you go, young man. Oh, there he is. All right. I'll see, I told you it's a Barbie spoon. Sorry about that. What was that, Sean? 
4,800 of these gone. How's that working out? Pretty good? Yeah. You're working hard over here. Everybody's eating but you. I thought maybe you should eat. Okay, no worries. I'd look out for you. All right, so how many are gone now? 4,800? Is that right, Sean? 4,800? 5,000 are now gone. Oh, my goodness. Great day. Yes. So here we, we started go. With, I'm sorry. Started with 7,800. I have 2,800 left. We may sell this out. Oh, my okay. goodness. I'm okay, on. so again, put that attachment on. This is the tilt head and just lower that in. I have the dasher down in the bowl. Your bowl goes in the freezer for about 24 hours. You just want to line those up, lock it down, start it. You always want to start it before you add your ingredients. This is a minted mango sorbet. Oh, that sounds great. It is so, so good. So you just add that in while it's moving and you just follow the recipe. You're going to get 15 different recipe variations in your use and care guide. And if you go to the QVC product page, there's a couple other special recipes there for you to check out as well. And you just mm -hmm. follow the directions. It's so easy. Make your mix have it nice and chilled, have your bowl in the freezer for a good 24 hours, and it's so simple. Keep your bowl in the freezer all the time so you're good and ready to go. Let me quickly update you. We started with 7,800 of these. I have 1,800 left. Wow. Want to tell you again real quickly, we are over $40.50 less, I believe, than what you pay for the same item at retail. This will work on any KitchenAid stand mixer except for the mini. Doesn't work on the mini. Thank you, darling. Lisa, our food stylist, brought me some grown-up spoons. Oh, nice. Now, those other spoons are very sweet if you're having a tea party. That's right. Yeah. But you know what? I need, like, a shovel when I eat. That's right. Come on now. You're going to have to taste this minted mango sorbet. I would love to. It is just gorgeous. Do you love can mango? Can I go right in the, in the bowl here? Mm-hmm. Another milk. fun little idea you can do with this, you can make frozen adult beverages in it, too. You can put in your margarita mix. Oh, wait, wait, and wait. freeze it until the consistency that you like. Tina V. Isn't that good? That's amazing. Yes. With that fresh mint in there. I know. What a difference that makes. I know. So good. So whether you're mm. going fruity, whether you're going chocolate, wow, whether you're going vanilla, add in all those toppings, and it's so easy to make a nice good quantity of ice cream at home. So here's the story, my friends. We start with 7,800 of these. I have 600 left. We have to wrap up. Oh my goodness. Because it's almost gone. Oh dear. And with the number of people on the phone lines and then everybody else who's now hearing what I'm saying and rushing to the phone right. line, this is going to be gone. So I need you to call the folks at the kitchen and tell them to make more. Okay, I will. Because summer's a long way away. We're going to need it. All right. And after this show, we have to try this espresso gelato. Oh, I'm all about that. All right. <laughs> Everybody's got their ice cream. We're good. All right. We'll keep you updated on this and let you know what's happening with it as we go along. Great to see you today. Thank you. Great job. Let's check in with Stacy. Are we celebrating uh, an anniversary of Kunra Khan? We are. Could you believe 30 years? And we wanted to have a star product in honor of this big occasion, and that is a beloved fourth burner part. Hot. This is the 30th anniversary edition, which means you now have this beautiful stainless steel all around on the outside as well as the inside and colored stainless steel so it doesn't chip, it doesn't wear off, and we even have a beautiful rose gold. This is the all stainless steel. Only day that you're going to get it under $30. There is no reorder. We just reduced the price today. This is coming up. Also, a couple of things from Roberta's, including, I'm really excited about it, kale. It's coming up right after the break. Add whimsy to your home with these folk art figurines from Jim Shore. Don't miss it. Starting Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern and Monday throughout the day on QVC2. Spring is just around the corner, and style lovers everywhere are getting ready by refreshing their wardrobes with bright designs in fashion, accessories, and more. Just in time for sunny days and warmer weather. Hello, Spring Style. Starts tonight at 12 p.m. Eastern and all day tomorrow on QVC. Dress it up or down. This duster from the Lisa Renna collection will be your spring style go-to. Snag yours starting Monday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Easy Pay every day. Have a Q card? For a limited time, enjoy six easy payments on anything you buy with your Q card except gift cards. Don't have a Q card? Open a new Q card and get a $40 QVC account credit when you make a purchase by March 10th. Now is a great time to get your Q card. You're watching QVC. 
So, what about growing your own fresh tomatoes this summer? And if you don't have any yard space to till up and make a garden, these all grow in containers. And these are beefsteaks. These are the big tomatoes. <laughs> You're going to love them too because you know what? When you plant these, wait one month. To be more specific, wait 30 days, and you're going to have tomatoes that are ready to eat. Isn't that crazy? After one month after planting, you're going to be eating your own fresh homegrown tomatoes. This is extraordinary. Eric Walleen, a master gardener from Roberta's, is joining us, sir. How are you, David? Good to see you, nice pal. To see you. I'm so excited that we're doing some live edible vegetable plants in yeah. the kitchen with David because I think a lot of our foodies really love growing their own food. But it's a lot of work, David, having a garden and growing tomatoes in the garden. You have to rototill, you're weeding, you're staking up these big plants. It's a lot of effort. It sure can be. But we're not, we have something that has no effort because they grow in containers. Now you're going to get six plants yes. here. You're going to get three of each variety and they're, and they're right to your right. Yes, we're going to two different types of beef steaks. Correct, correct. One is called Big League and it is the big guy. It goes anywhere from 14 to 21 ounces. Wow. And then we have the Atlas. It's a little bit smaller, but it has a little bit different flavor. Only about one pounders. Yeah. 16 ounces. That's still pretty big. So this kind of gives you an idea of the mm -hmm. difference. Yeah. Differential. Look right here in my hands. So this is the big league, mm -hmm. and this one is what, what's this called? Atlas. Atlas. Atlas is is uh, bred in the U.S. by Ball Seed, and the big league comes from Vegetalis over in the U.K. Now, Both designed for containers. What today is, as you well know, is our big gardening event yes. all day long. Because after we're done within the kitchen with David, we're right back to gardening again, Correct. right? Correct. So everything in the garden catalog, uh, category today on air and online is for pay or more. Which means this is on four pay as well because nice. it's, a, it's a garden plant, right? So, what you're going to love is you're getting four easy payments of $6.24. Then you're receiving three of the Big League and three of the Atlas beefsteak right. tomatoes. Put them right. Look how many you get. They, they, they produce fruit, David, all summer long. Now, here's something that I think is pretty extraordinary. I'm going to come yeah. around front here so you can see this. In a moment, I want you guys to come in right here and, and let me show you what's happening. This is one of the plants. This is like the plant you're going to receive. Exactly. You're in a six of those. And there is a chance that when you get your plants at home, they might even have some baby tomatoes already, already popping going. out. Yeah, at least the flowers. Exactly. You'll at least have the flowers, but you might even have some little baby tomatoes. In 30 days, you're going to have a sliceable. That can turn into this. Yummy. In 30 days, it can turn into this. Yeah, and that's as big as it gets. And it doesn't get taller than this. No. So these are designed for containers. Now, do we have a steak in here? Yes. 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 Because they're every big. tomato plant needs a steak, yes, right? Yes, they're big, big fruits. But this is going to be really important. I do want to show you and tell you as 300 of these are already gone, we're going to take a look at our zone map. Because here's the best part about plants, live plants at QVC. We never ship until it's safe to plant. Correct, correct. So take a look at our zone map and you're going to see that we have already started or will soon start to ship. On the 18th of March, we start shipping down south. And all you have to do is look at the color code and match that to the bottom. You'll see your zone there. And Pennsylvania, it looks like is, is uh, where we're at. Looks like we're zone around six. April 22nd. Yes. So you're telling me by before Memorial Day, I'm going to have tomatoes? You're going to have beef steak tomatoes. Beef steak yes. tomatoes. Now, you've heard me ones. tell this story before. My mom's parents lived in the foothills of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And my grandma one day said to my granddad, she said, I'd really like to have a vegetable garden in the back. So he went out back and he tilled up the entire yard. Not just a little bit, I the you, whole thing. I remember you told me but that. Grandma was undaunted, and she went this. out and she planted all this. <laughs> and then he would come home at lunch. He owned a awning and storm window company in their little small town. He'd come home for lunch, and he would come in, and, and they had five kids. And he would come in, and he'd say, Mother, what's for lunch? And she'd say, made her sandwiches, have a seat, go wash. That, she'd say, go wash your hands and have a seat. And have a seat, made her sandwiches. And what made her sandwich, at least the way we ate them down south, was... Piece of white bread, yep. smeared with mayonnaise, mayonnaise. big beefsteak tomato, and then granddad would also put black pepper on it, a mm -hmm. little bit of salt, then he'd clap another piece of bread on top, and that's a good time sandwich, although he would have about four or five slices of tomato in there. Yeah, right. well, how about a little taste? Yeah, so me this is going to take me back. <laughs> Over a thousand of these are now gone. Here's a Mater sandwich, North Carolina style. Mmm. Mmm. Mater sandwiches. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Mmm, so good. Isn't and it? these are the kind of tomatoes that dribble right down your chin. Oh, they're so juicy. You they're need to hold so over the sink. Full of flavor. But look, there's no <laughs> white stuff. You know, the white, um, look at styrofoamy stuff. You get a, a store bought tomato. When you get them out of your garden, they are just full of juice and meat. Hey, let me tell you, we just got hugely busy on the phone mm -hmm. lines. I think it was the Mater Sandwich store. I think so. Personally. <laughs> um, hey, can I tell you that um, we are very, very busy? 1,500 are gone, is that right? 
you're getting three of the big league and three of the Atlas mm -hmm. beefsteak. Now, both they're both beefsteak tomatoes. Yes. But one is called Atlas and one is called Big League. The Big League is bigger. When you cut into these, they're rich, they're juicy, they're red, the way God intended this tomato. And if to you be. don't want the bread, how about this? Oh my gosh. I would watch my granddad do that. He'd go right in the garden go sometimes right and eat there, them right off the them, vine. They're right? warm off the vine. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than a homegrown right off the vine. Oh my goodness. This is just mm. so perfect. Don't miss out on this. Make a BLT. Mm. Oh, make your mouth water so, so good. Let's 2, cut the other of these one. are now gone. Let's cut into, let's the, cut into is, the, is the, the Atlas. This, this is the big league. Oh, the big league. We did the Atlas first. Look at this guy. Look, Look how that. beautiful, right? Can and I you're just tell you, are you ready for summer tomato salad? Big chunks of beefsteak tomato, oh, cucumbers, juicy. onions, maybe a little vinaigrette dressing in there. Mm. Mm, fresh herbs sprinkled in there, some fresh basil in there, caprese salad. I you know what? I love summer for so many reasons, but maters, come on, y'all. Yes. I can remember my mom used to grow tomatoes in container pots, and then she'd put them on the windowsill to finish ripening them. Oh, did so she? So the bugs wouldn't get to them. Okay. Nice. She, she'd get them off the vine before the bugs could get to them, but they weren't quite ready to cut. Mm -hmm. So she put them on the windowsill and let the sun ripen. That's up. exactly right. Yes, you do that, and I, I still do that. It's I'll so pick good. them because I don't want them. I don't want anything to get to them. All right, let me show you again. This is one plant of the six you're going to receive. We're gonna come around and show you. Mm -hmm. This is. Let me do this. This is one plant of the six you're gonna receive. This one plant will get this big. You're gonna have six plants at yeah. your house. Actually, this David, this is the um, big league, and big league gets four foot tall. Uh, Atlas gets only three foot tall. Oh, so it's a foot shorter. Yes, it's a oh, little wow, shorter. Oh, wow. Okay. And so you, even more manageable. They are much more manageable. Yeah, so yeah. in the summertime and late spring in Indiana, anyway, we get. Lots of crappy weather. I mean, it's raining, it's windy. So you just take this. Look at that green one down there. Yeah. Look at the green one here on the vine that it's going to ripen up in no time at all. You can't see him, can you? There, oh, there yeah, he is. There he is. Yeah, there's just coming. They're coming. Oh, they look so good. So you can move your pots. Mm -hmm. If it's going to rain all week, bring them, bring them under by the house. So 4,500, I want you to cut into one of these again and show everybody how rich and gorgeous they are. Yeah. I also want to remind you that you're getting three Big League and three Atlas, six total plants of tomatoes for $25. Four easy payments on your credit card. How many gone now, Sean? 4,500. Take a look at our zone map again. We will not ship to you until it's safe to plant in your area, and these are designed for container pots. So take a well, look yeah. right now. We'll hold this on up for a moment so you can locate your your area. And you'll know when they're coming. There's a, a date by the zone that you live in. It's match your color. So in southeastern Pennsylvania, where we're, we're located here it's, in Westchester, we're shipping on April 22nd. Correct. Right? That's the week that we ship to you. So. Or April 15th or 22nd, mm -hmm. one or the other. And mm -hmm. then 30 days later, after you plant these. You're going to have tomatoes you can slice and make a sandwich out of. Make your, look at this nice little fresh salad. You're eating now, fresh. We talked about doing a fresh tomato salad with basil mm -hmm. and balsamic glaze. You're How eating good healthy. Is that? Oh, wait. And they hit it with a little salt. Definitely a little salt and pepper. Maybe a little pepper. How's that look, Mark Charles? Right. <laughs> I saw Mark Charles over there salivating. I think he wiped his mouth twice. So, All right. So this is M61277, but look at this. You guys, come on. And you didn't go to the market by these. You can't. You know what you did? You went out to your back patio and you picked it. That's right. Came inside, washed it up, and you sliced it and you made a BLT for lunch. And these don't just produce for a short time, they produce all summer long, David. And maybe at the end of the summer, if you've got enough of them, you'll make sauce out of them. Oh, there you or go. Or you'll do all kinds fried of green things. Fried green tomatoes. Or fried green tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Pick them before they're red and then fry them up. Right. I know, right? Mark Charles, <laughs> settle down. Settle down. Get a chair. Yeah. You might fall down. We're going to. We're gonna... So 6,000 are gone. Oh, but don't, don't miss out on these. This hey, is these the, are all this for the season. When they're gone, Brand they're new gone. today. Yeah, and when they're gone, they're gone. Um, it looks like we've got. Is there an auto delivery on this? Oh, look at those. Stuffed tomatoes. One there. Is okay, here's the auto delivery. Yes. You get your shipment now, and then if you go auto delivery, we're going to be the. You'll be the first ones we ship in the spring of 2020. And look right here. This is this is uh, an ode to my granddad. Yes. This is his mater sandwich. We double her up this time. And uh, and this looks more like what my granddad would have eaten. Um, and you know what? He had a really interesting name. My granddad's name was Erastus. Erastus. And my grandma called him Ras. Nice. And so she would say, Ras, are you coming home for lunch? He said, Yes, mother. What are we having? And she would say, Mater sandwich. And she said, I'll be there in ten minutes. <laughs> That's right. Wash and your he hands always and come on in. Wash your hands and sit down. <laughs> Rass, it's time for lunch. Mm. This is M61277. If you have any issues at all, Roberta's has what we like to call a gotta grow guarantee. Right. 
Um, tell us about this, sir. Well, what we do is we want to make you happy. So these tomatoes are going to produce in 30 days. Yeah. I'm giving you a 90-day guarantee. If you have any issues, get a hold of Roberta's at robertasinc.com or give us a call, and we're going to take care of it, David. And that is perfect. All right, we're Thank still you. very busy on our phone lines. We're going to invite everyone to, uh, as I like to say, don't dare hang up. We're going to get you all squared away with your maters. Those are beefsteak, and you get Atlas and Big League, three of each. And they're going to produce tomatoes in 30 days after you plant them. We're making our food stylist and food, food chef stylist Carol's mac and cheese today. And this is the one that we show on the air all the time. And so many of you have asked for the recipe. You'll find the recipe by searching David's recipes on QVC.com. And look under the banner, Foodie Family and Friends. Now, earlier we made the initial step with the cooked pasta and the cheeses. Well, now there's more cheese. This is no calorie left behind mac and cheese. This is serious business. Now, what we're going to do is actually take our shredded mozz and go all over the top. More of the Italian cheese blend that you buy in the supermarket. And the one reason that you buy this in the supermarket is because it's already blended. There are four cheeses in this. So get that all in and wait, there's more. <laughs> Just when you thought. Hang on. Sliced fresh mozzarella, Mark Charles. Kidding me with this? Look, look, look. No joke, mac and cheese. Serious business mac and cheese. Heart stopping mac and cheese. This is what it's all about. Now, before we get this in the oven, you know what we're going to do? We're going to cover it with plastic wrap and then we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and then put it in the oven. And a lot of you read the recipe and posted it on Facebook. David, I'm afraid to do that. The plastic wrap's going to melt. It will not. If you put the plastic wrap on first and completely cover it in foil, it will not melt. If you are nervous about it, spray the inside of your, uh, your foil with a, some nonstick spray and omit the plastic wrap. We just don't want anything to pull the cheese off the top of the mac and cheese when you peel away the, the foil. That's why we put the, um, the um, plastic wrap down and the plastic wrap also keeps it warmer longer. This is what it looks like when it's all baked off and it is delicious, boys and girls. Stick around, it's gonna be a good, good day. Mac and cheese palooza. All right, Mark Charles. Tasting today. I think everybody's going to be part of the tasting. I need to be part of that tasting. Yeah. Um, Stacy, is everyone excited about Carol's mac and cheese? Oh, yeah. Oh, How yeah. could you not be? Right? Come on. Seriously. Now. Hey, Kuhn Rakan's celebrating an anniversary. It is 30 years in the U.S. of A. It's a 100 year old company, but it's only been in the United States for 30 years. For 30 years. So, yep. like you and I, Mark Charles, only 30 years old. Only 30 years old again. See? Again? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, exactly. Hey, what we're talking about is the fourth burner pot. And this is one that you brought to QVC, I guess, what, about eight years ago? No, 12 years ago. Has it been that long? Yeah, I created it 12 years ago. Oh, my word. So, this is 12 years ago. This, is, uh, this was brought to QVC for the first time. Mark Charles designed this pot. Yep. Because so many people need that extra pot. And you say, Leave this out on the stove. Yes, because this was supposed to replace the whole concept. Was I kept seeing everybody's home have the teapot in that back small burner of your stove sit there all the time to boil water, which is great, except you couldn't clean it out and it only boiled water. Well, that boil, this boils water, but it goes vertical. So we took what was known as an asparagus cooker, a sauce pot, a ladle, a measuring cup, a strainer. And melted them all together. You go vertical. You have 11 cups vertically, and you can still use that little burner in the back where the teapot used to be, and cook a lot more than just boiling water with this. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. This is such a great pot, and you're going to find that if you're going to be using this for your red sauce, maybe you're going to get some of those maters we just mm -hmm. we just talked about. Oh yeah. Make your own sauce. But this is fantastic. Now you've got al dente pasta. You're ready to serve this up with whatever sauce you like, pesto. Yep. Tomato yep, sauce, yep, yep. marinara, or whatever you have. The beauty is, take a second one if you have it. I want to make sure I do the right one because I always get the tomato sauce and the tomato soup mixed up sometimes. I've done that. You've seen me live do that. This <laughs> is the tomato sauce, not the soup. But the beauty is, we actually really worked on the pour spout with this. I actually rejected the first one. They were not happy with me because I wanted the perfect pour. I don't want you to have to pull a ladle out. You can pull and do your gravies, your sauces, your reduction sauces, keep them heated on here, cook them in here. All at the ready, 11 cups vertically. Remember, this is impact bonded. This is the original stainless steel one, interior and exterior, which means it works on anybody's stove, including induction. This will even work on a barbecue grill if you'd like to. Full induction and fully dishwasher safe. So let's take a look at your color choices yep. and begin here. I believe we're calling this one chrome. That's chrome. And you know what? That's hard to see because it's reflecting on what's Correct. around it. Let me do so, this. So it's all it stainless. So and you that's guys, the only one we've ever done with If a you look gray. at it here, you can see that it's all chrome. Yep. Down there, it was picking up the copper, and yep. I didn't want you to, to, to be confused. This one is chrome. Yep. 
I think probably a good name for this also would be stainless steel. Stainless steel. And we have yeah. no band on it. Like, this is different than we've ever done before as far as looks. And then I've got it for you in copper. Copper. Look at that one. Look at the next one. Oh, excuse me. Chrome 700 and most limited. This one is actually not a color. Gold. It's metallic gold. Metallic gold. Okay. Then rose. metallic or rose gold. Yes, we've never done a rose like 800 that. 800 in the rose gold. Then I've got it for you in metallic blue. And finally, the metallic red. Yep, and they all come with their matching baskets. They are silicone wrapped on the handle to the lid and the handle to the piece. So you never need a pot holder, including on the top of the basket we put silicone. 300 of these are gone. Yep. We have no reorder on this particular pot. Now, that does not mean the pot's going away. Mark Charles is working on other, on other yep. different you know, configurations. And this but is an anniversary special. We wanted to make it just special for the anniversary. And with the special paint. Yeah. yeah. So remember, like, there's a little hook. We gave you a little hook there. On all the baskets, these are all stainless steel. These are food grade safe. You can boil hot oil with this. You can actually steam with this. You can actually submerge and boil. So we did the little bit of broccoli. Look at all of that steamed with just a little bit. See the feet there? All stainless steel, not going to rust or pit on you. All dishwasher safe. You can go ahead and do boil or steam 24 hot dogs all at once. And I'm going to actually use that little hook again. That's really important for the draining purposes. And then pull that out, and we we actually made 24 hot dogs. We go further. David's non favorite, favorite, secretly favorite <laughs> vegetable, Brussels sprouts. But I have to say something to you. Could you please look at these Brussels sprouts? Stop look, giggling, Stacey. Look how beautiful they are and how green they are. And you know why? We steam them. I they think do when, look pretty. Right? When you mm. boil out greens like Brussels sprouts, I think you lose a lot of the flavor because you boiled out the nutrients. They almost become gray. Something like that. But mm. look how wonderful this is. My little secret is, is to actually steam them first, then you cut them in half. Pan sear them with garlic, olive oil, and bacon lard, and you have amazing crusted over half mm. of Brussels sprouts. They're amazing. Just saying. I, I know you won't eat them anyway. You maybe Stacy makes some, but it's fine. I might so, eat them. Asparagi, which is bacon. the plural of asparagus. This is 92 pencil asparagus. 92 of them, by the way. So of course, obviously, when you get larger asparagus, you're gonna have less. But this is was created after an asparagus cooker, and let me put the little kickstand on there to keep that from going up. You can just do something as basic as soup. What I what I love about this, you can take your favorite canned soup. I'm about Careful. to trip. There we go. Uh, no, the soup bowls are on this side. Sorry this about that. Side. Didn't miss that. And you can actually pour without using a ladle. So whether it's grandma's homemade soup or just a can of soup. You reheat it, reheat your gravies, make your reduction sauces. There's measurements of up to 11 cups on in the inside, and I'll tell you why that's important. How many times have we made, I have, the box of rice peel off or the, or the rice mix, and it always says boil three cups of water first. Mm. The beauty is we have the measurements in there. Just look at the measurements, boil it, and you're cooking it in there as well. So I love the fact that you can be gourmand with this by actually taking your clams, putting some white wine, some lemon, some herbs, Making the sauce, but I get to strain it out. They put too much sauce in here every time. Love you, Mitchell. And you're able to actually pour this out like that. So you make the dipping sauce, all dishwasher safe. That is a restaurant quality for pennies on the dollar that you would pay at a, at a restaurant. So let me show that. you colors again. And I'm going to pick this first one up because it's really picking up the colors around it and it's maybe yep. a little confusing. This one is called Chrome and it's gone. Well, that oh, solves that problem. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, gals. Brianna, so somebody's gone. Okay. And then. Thank you. Come on. You're good. There we go. Thank you. Bye bye, Chrome. All right. So now we have metallic gold. 1200 here. Here's the rose gold. 650. Blue. Metallic blue. And metallic red on the end. All very popular. No reorder on this. One day only Again. price here. This will uh, go away at end of day today. The price will. Or when it sells out, whichever mm -hmm. comes first. Now, the thing about the teapot that I had said that I want this to replace, you realize in the teapot you're only boiling the water. You can actually infuse your own tea in here. So put your tea leaves, your tea bags, then add maybe some large um, slices of, of orange or, or um, cinnamon sticks. I think somebody in the back room has a okay. question. Okay, can we bring Stacy's mic up? What, does she, what question does she have? And hey. pour it all out and strain it out. Look at that. Mark Charles. Yeah. They would like to know can you fit a full pound of pasta in this? A full pound? Yes. Yeah. Correct. So you can boil a full pound in there. Yep. Okay. Spaghetti noodles or pasta? Or pasta. Or Correct. pasta. Okay. Anything in there. That's a good question. Thanks, guys. Very good question. Hey, let me tell you that over half the quantity we brought in is gone. We should also tell you that this is a one day only. So the price will go away end of day today Color or price. when it sells out, whichever comes first. We've already sold out of chrome. Looks like we could probably sell out of rose gold as well because that's going very quickly. Say it again. Okay, so this is metallic gold, 1100 here in the rose gold, 600 now. That's going quickly. The blue, 1900, and then the metallic red on the end, 
2000 remain, but we brought in more red because we knew it would yeah, be popular. It's a fruity red. And now the other thing I want to point out, why is this import piece important? I believe this is one of the few accessories to cookware that's ever been. Why do I say that? Because this is a piece in a shape that you will not find in a cookware set. Listen, I have all my LA Crusade. I have my All Clat. I have my Cook's Essentials. I have other brands because I have a mixed mash of all these different brands, but none of them have this as one of the pieces. So this is a great foodie piece to give to anybody, no matter what cookware they carry or they collect, it will go with it. It's a great accompaniment to it. Think about making that great stew in the Lake Crusade and then making extra gravy sauce on the side. Speaking of gravy sauce, I have it right here. One of the favorite things to do is infusion gravy. Infusion gravy, as I've tried to teach in the past, is when you're taking whole shallots, whole garlic cloves, whole mushrooms, sitting them in there. It's a different flavor profile than chopping it up or mincing it up and putting it in the gravy. You're letting it sit and infuse. But the thing is, I don't want all those big chunks being served. So with the strainers, there's a small, there's the large. I'm going to go large because I want to make sure I get all the gravy in there because it could be a thick gravy. And now I can actually put the gravy right over it. So if you're doing a holiday and you're doing like a beautiful roast or ham and you want that extra gravy sitting on a burner all day and this way people can keep helping themselves and strain it out, add a little bit of mushrooms or whole garlics to a, a package gravy and make it your own and then strain it out. And, and really uh, kick it up a notch with some fresh ingredients. Don't Let's tell you that we've now taken orders for over 3,500 ordered in this show, 9,000 for the month. Mm -hmm. And if you want red, 1,500 left. Blue, 1,600 left. Rose gold, 350. And then the metallic gold, only 800. This is a great hot chocolate maker, a great mulled wine. This will also is a great milk pan. Oh, mulled cider. Would be mulled good too. cider in here. Like this goes on. Think about everything a teapot with a whole lot more. I'm telling you, will love this pot. It's a great metallic anniversary pot. I love this pot. We have a quick update on the ice cream maker. What? It oh, is I bought gone. one. I bought one. Did you? Yes. Lucky you. Loved it. Because it is gone. You can be sure we're going to bring that back in before warm weather sets yep. in because I think a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Um, are we have one more item? Two more items. Two more items. You can't get rid All of right. me yet. Not that I want to. I was just counting. Okay. All right. Um, uh, you guys, where am I going? You're going this way. I'm going this oh, way. Oh, sunroom. Perfect. And then Stacey's is going to talk about one of Mark Charles' items. Yes. Yes. From we Architect. This. <laughs> this is the new cutting board we're offering you. What we love about Architect, you have that concave design, so it holds juices. This one, though, not wood. Lighter. Yeah, and it's less than $20. Comes in beautiful colors. You can even throw this in the dishwasher, which is great, unlike our wood ones. We love our wood ones, but sometimes for everyday practicality, something that's easy, lighter to move around. And again, you have that concave design. It is coming up in just a bit, but right now, oh, we've got corkies and ham. Jimmy Stovall, we had this um, biscuit place. Yeah. And when you went in the morning and you asked for a ham biscuit, lady would get on the microphone and she'd say, ham. <laughs> we would go in and we'd order ham biscuits just to hear her say, ham. <laughs> so fun. This is Jimmy Stovall from Corky's in Memphis, Tennessee. He is my good Southern friend, so I thought he would appreciate a Southern That's story. Right. Hey, you know what else is coming right around the corner? We've got Easter, and that means ham. Easter ham is here. And I promised you earlier a ham that you would not have to cook. Absolutely. Because all you're doing with this is you're thawing, heating, and eating. That's right. We have done all the work. And this is that carving board ham that we have done for the last couple of years. But this is the first time we've heard everyone love it, but they want more of it. And this is the first time we've ever done a full seven pound boneless ham that you carve yourself for presentation. And that keeps all the moisture and tenderness and juiciness That's in there. Good. And then it has that honey brown sugar glaze that everyone loves. Now we are delivering this ham either immediately or the week of April the 8th. We are much more limited in the immediate ship. You should also be aware there's an auto delivery opportunity here. So we'll ship your first shipment now in time for Easter, and your second shipment will come in November of 19. Sure. So that'll be probably in time for uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Right. Is that right? That's right. And then you're also going to enjoy the biggest ham we've ever done because last year when we did this ham, I believe it was four and a half pounds. Four and three quarter pounds. Four and yep. three quarter pounds. That's right. Um, it's seven pounds this year. Seven pounds. Holy oh, macaroni! No That's bones. a big ham. It's not pressed, so it's not some deli ham. So we're going to eat it this end to end. End to end. And what I love about it is all you're doing, it's already been slow smoked. It had, we put this fantastic glaze already on it in the bag. And tell us about the glaze. So this is a honey brown sugar glaze. Honey brown sugar. It is sweet. It's smooth. It's a perfect complement to the smoky ham. And 
to me, it just adds a whole other layer of flavor. See, I was going to ask you to slice one, and then I realized I don't need any help you don't slicing because this it. is fork tender. Yep. And we cho we choose this ham because it's not the same old you know spiral sliced ham that everybody has. Everybody serves. This is something different. Mm -hmm. It's unique, and you mm -hmm. can serve it and slice mm -hmm. it how you want. Is that mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. First smoky ham, really good, not too salty. No. Important. Then you get this brown sugar honey glaze thing happening. And then it all kind of wraps around and makes your tongue fly out of your mouth and smack your brains out. That's how good it is. <laughs> oh my word. The only thing left to do is the happy dance. All there right. it is. Come on. Get it. Get it. This you, is crazy. Now, I want everyone to know that this comes already in the glaze. It right? does. It's already in the glaze. I'll show you a bag right here. And in fact, I just put up a video of me cooking one or heating one up at my house on my Facebook page. What is your Facebook page? So, uh, Jimmy Stovall for QVC. For QVC, yep. okay. And so I just put a video up. It comes like this, and what you can see, you see that that in there, the little bit of clear part. All that glaze is down in there. So all you do is thaw this in your fridge for I recommend 48 hours, and I put foil down, put this, put the ham on top of the foil, and then. Pour a little bit of that glaze out of that bag onto the ham, cover it up with foil in your oven, 350 for about 30, 40 minutes. And then at the end, look at this. But when I'm have you seen a ham that's juicy like this? This is what the difference is, is we don't slice it ahead of time. When you get a spiral sliced ham or, mm. or a sliced ham that's already been done, you know, when the air gets to it, the moisture is going to be gone. Mm -hmm. So you pull a piece off and it's the obligatory spiral sliced ham that everybody has. Right. This one right here is what makes it so special. This is if you're going to a wedding or a high end event where there's someone carving at a carving station. You go to a country club. And Absolutely. Have a big Look at this. Like this. Look at this. And that's what keeps that tender. Moist and juicy, fantastic smoked ham in there. And then that glaze on top, that brown sugar honey glaze, little bit of sweetness, very smooth. How many people will this whole ham feed? This goes a long way. It's a big I ham. I mean, you're talking, if you if this was the only meat, you I mean you're talking probably 20 people. 20 people. So easily. you can cut, you know, if you if you bring it out early. You know, cut it in half if you'd like, save half for later, mm -hmm. slice it up. I love it the following day for on biscuits, just like you said. Yes. I like to slice it thin and then put it in a skillet, fry it up, oh. get a little bit of you know, crispy. brown and crispy, crispy on there, and then cook some biscuits and get you a nice ham biscuit. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. But you know, everyone loves ham at Easter. <laughs> so good. <laughs> wow, is that good? But but not every ham is tender and juicy, mm -mm. and like I said, you get the spiral sliced ham that everybody's used or to. Or it's overly fatty. Right. Or there's it's a little look tiny at this right here. fat cap on this. Yeah, and we keep it right up here on top, so you get the true, authentic, full muscle ham. And when you slice it, you get this tender and juicy, fantastic ham that's smoky, and then it balances it with that fantastic glaze. Okay, so Jimmy, 500 of these are gone. Oh, wow. We're shipping Thank you. now or April the 8th. Auto delivery ships your first shipment now and then in November of 19. Um, folks, you're going to get this in the bag like this and it'll be frozen, yes. It's frozen, correct. Okay, and the the glaze, now this one's this one's defrosted. Yep. The glaze is all in there. Yep, you can You can hear it kind of slushing around. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this into a shallow pan, I'm assuming. Yeah, I like to put foil in the bottom. I wrap it up in foil and then put it in the pan. So then when you take it out, after you heat it up, you just open that foil. Now, do baby. you squeeze the, the glaze all over the top I inside do. the foil? Absolutely. So you make like a little foil pouch. Exactly what I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to use this and you're going to uh, you're going to serve it for your dinner and then keep the leftovers for the next day for sandwiches and for ham biscuits at breakfast. Oh, so good. And the thing is, is it, then your main dish on Easter is done. You know, I always say Easter is kind of the forgotten holiday. You know, all of a sudden it sneaks up on you and you're like, right. oh my gosh, it's Easter time. What am and I going to do? If everybody goes to church, you know, it can be, you know, well, trying then, on some people. <laughs> well, then you got, then and this you got is done. a big meal. And it's really tough because, to your point, you're at church all morning right. and then you got to come home and make the dinner. And, and people and are coming and over. You're, Stressed, right? That's right. Mm. And that's why I love these with those St. Clair side dishes Thank because well, everything is done. So, in 30, are you giving me a wet one? A little wet nap. Oh, I like that. See Thank there? You. Wow, that's nice. And you know that restaurant I went, told you about in North Carolina when I go in and order a ham biscuit? They yeah. say, ham. If you ordered ham and cheese, she's the ham <laughs> cheese. <laughs> All right. Just hey, blurted it out. Speaking of cheese, we're making Chef Carol's mac and cheese today. Okay. That works here. Yes. 
So your question has to do with mac and cheese. So I'm getting trivia? Yes, you are. Awesome. In what year did Kraft start selling macaroni and cheese? Mm -hmm. Was it 1929, 1937, 1946, or 1958? I thought you'd give me a hint, but you didn't. No, I did not. Wow. That's you didn't why I'm not making look. eye contact with you. Um, the 30. 37? 37. That is correct. According to the SmithsonianMagazine.com, Kraft introduced its mac and cheese in 1937 when America was in the throes of the Great Depression. The product could serve four people for 19 cents, <laughs> right? Wow. And the company sold 8 million boxes of its quick and easy macaroni and cheese in just one year. Wow. Now, I will tell you. That according to the box of macaroni and cheese, I am a family of four uh -huh. because I can eat the whole box. I've yeah, eat, I can. I've eaten quite a few of those boxes of mac yes. and cheese in my in life. In college, mostly. <laughs> That's yeah, right. right. That's hey, right. it's time for another one day only. It is great to see you, sir. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. All right. And let's make our way over because Mark Charles has that same great idea of a concave cutting board, but this time made out of polypropylene, which is a fancy word for plastic. Plastic. People wanted color. They wanted a round, lightweight version of what we've been selling in the wood. The wood is wonderful. It's the original where the father and son team created this perfectly engineered concave to hold up to one cup of water. But they said, you know, could you make a version that's a little lighter right. and more colorful? Right. Here it is, first time ever, guys. Okay, so this is the same company, folks. Same that, company, that same product. The uh, the hardwood yep. architect cutting that we've board. done about five different versions of. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, actually Jimmy's carving his ham on that architect yep. cutting yep. board over there. Yep, carving his. But it's in the wooden version. Yes. This one is in poly. Our colors over here. It's over sorry. there. Car. Okay, so. Okay, what are we doing? Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to let you go. <laughs> Let me sneak in here. All right. So what we've got is four color choices for yep. you. This is the red. I then have it for you in the green. From the green, we got. Oh, look at that blue. What kind of blue is that? That might be Carolina blue. Or sky blue. Did Carolina blue or play? Sky blue. Did Carolina play uh, basketball last night? Or sky blue. Did they whoop up on Duke last night? Could yes, they did. Could be a baby blue. Could be a sky blue. Hush up. It's Carolina blue. And yeah, we, we beat the stuff in that Duke last night. And then we've got it for you in orange. Okay, nine points. I say stuff in other Here we go. Say Here we go. I say stuff it. All right. Hey, okay. let's talk to you about this design because the folks, the engineers that made this board. Yeah. And they were not just anybody. Engineers. That, engineers three made years. This board. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just finishing cutting up Jimmy's. Well, that's beautiful. Jimmy's ham. Yeah. That's Jimmy's ham. And look at this. We're talking about one cup. So uh, here, 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 guys, let's get. Let's take this one in my hand so I can t we can talk about this. The is this features, Chef Mitch's steak? Yeah, it is for Chef Mitch's mm -hmm. steak. Here's the secret. We kept it oval. What we did on the reverse, which you're happy with the wood, we did a 360 non-slip. Those are all, see the little tabs there? Oh, Those God. are 360 non-slip. We kept the handles in there so you can carry this. The secret is this almost non-detectable curve that took three years and two engineers to create. Let me show how it works. Once you put it flat on the ground, you can take a cup of gravy juice or anything and it will sit in the middle. Why is that important? Because what people have been doing wrong all this time is when they create a protein out of anything from the barbecue to the oven to the stovetop, you have to let it sit. If it's to sit, you are supposed to have it sit in its own juices. What's important to note is that stays in the middle. That means all your natural juices and gravies will sit and stay with those proteins. You should have them sit, not drawn away. When I was a kid, my mother had the cutting board that went all the way around with the channel. It pulled it away. You want them to sit. Why? They stay moist and you flavorful that way. Over 1,000 are now gone. I want to hit colors again and, and we've remind never done color. you. That we've got this for 1998. If you were hoping to put this on Easy Pay, use your Q card because you can put it on Six Pay if you use that Q card today. Now, this is the red, a nice tomato red, most popular. Then I've got a green. Then we've got it for you in light blue. I would call that Carolina blue. And then next to that, we've got it for you in orange. If you want that orange, though, we have only 1,200 to go around in the orange. Put this on your Q card. You can put it on six easy payments, which is awfully nice. Don't miss out on this because as we get ready for the summertime, the reason that a lot of people were asking for this kind of cutting board design, when you take a primary out of the oven, for example, yep. the recipe will call for it to rest. Rest. If you always. cut it too soon, all the juices run out of it. 
Well, and the other problem you had when you were carving out on a regular cutting board that was just flat, the juices would run off onto the tabletop. Yep. This way, all the juices gather in the middle of the cutting board, so the meat has no choice but to reabsorb. Reabsorb, them. and it's important to note that you know that's the tip for prime rib. But do you realize that that's an unknown tip for everything you cook? A fish, a pork, a, a fowl, mm -hmm. anything you cook should sit. Did you right say fowl? Fowl. Fowl. Like duck, yep. turkey. Or chicken. Just hadn't heard you say fowl, fowl. before. So, oh, speaking of fowl, let's go over here. So, speaking of fowl, um, when you're doing a chicken I love breast, messing with Marcher. <laughs> hamburg hamburgers at the barbecue. Take the hamburgers off the grill, put them here, let them sit in their own juices, or maybe you're adding barbecue sauce or you're adding something else to it, but let it sit. Even if it's for four or five minutes, folks, that's the difference between having a moist hamburger or chicken breast or pork chop than a dried one. Let me tell you that now 5,000 are gone. 3,000 are gone, excuse me. 3,000 are gone. We are very, very busy on our phone lines. I want to remind you again of colors. And then, Mark Charles, I would love for you to show the cup again? of liquid, but yep. let me do colors first sure. if I may. This is the red. And I do want to let you know what the size of this 13 by 17 inches. Yeah. So 13 inches this way, 17 inches this way. Okay? Here's the green. Here's the light blue. When you say Carolina, say North Carolina. And then on the end, we've got it in orange. Orange, yep. 700 another left. Orange, another influence from my kitchen, by the way. Orange. So here's the thing what, did you, what do we have here? You've been seeing me sell this concave board for years in different shapes, sizes of wood, okay, in different types of wood. You wanted it in color, you wanted it a, size, a nice, moderate size, and light. We gave it to you the first time ever. Polypropylene, dishwasher safe. It has got everything you love. If I flip this, we actually went further and took those non slip grids, look at this, and did it 360. This thing is not sliding around. Any surface you put this on, it's not slipping around. We left the handles in there because you liked the handles. That means I can grab it underneath. More importantly, out of everything, we gave you the color, the lightweightness, the dishwasher safe. We gave you the concave. What concave? This engineered concave, when it's put down, you cannot see with the naked eye. It's going to hold up to one cup of liquid. That means all of your proteins, when you cook, and by the way, go further. If you're going to cut a melon, pineapple, or watermelon, oh, yeah. all of the juice is going to stay in the middle. Okay, and that's a good thing as well. This is one cup. A whole cup. One cup. And now, what I, why we do this demonstration is to prove to you that there is that concave. Because if this was a flat board, those juices should go in every direction like every other flat board. That's how engineered that curve is, so it doesn't harm. You're cutting. It helps your knives from dulling a little bit less because you have that curve, the natural curve of the blade. More importantly, your proteins stay in their own juices to sit and rest and cut and serve. So it's a great serving board. Now, it's exactly 2 p.m. Eastern Time. If you just tuned in to In the Kitchen with David, we're with you for one more hour. You're looking at a one day only priced item. Never you know when those are going to pop up. And when they do, the price is only good until the end of the day in which they're presented or until the item sells out, whichever comes first. You should also know this is the lowest price you're going to see on the item for six months. We've already taken orders for. 6,000 of these, and these are your color choices. Here it is in the red. Now, the, these, are, these measure 13 inches top to bottom, 17 inches side to side. This is a really good size board. It really is. So, this is your red. This is green. Next is light blue. And finally, I have the orange. If you want the orange 200, I do want you to hear this. It's now oh. over half gone. Okay. This is a very thick polypropylene yep. material. Not going to bend. It's also got these little non skid feet and little handles. Yep. But I want you to hear this. Yeah. It's just sturdy. Yeah, it's not, again. This is not wood. I mean, if you, if you throw it off the top of the Empire State Building, it might, it might break when it lands. If you throw me off the Empire State Building, I'll break when it well, lands. Well, yeah, I'm going to scream a lot. You throw okay. me off the top of the Empire State Building. Plus, I'm going to make a big and mess I'm thick, when I hit. So, you know, there's no way, you know. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm talking about is this is durable. This is yes. dishwasher, dishwasher safe. safe. Yep. You're going to be fine it's with this. It's got the same concave that I've been selling for the first time ever in a dishwasher yeah, safe. Yeah, it's really color. smart. Come on. Really smart. Look how great okay, Jimmy's Mark hand Charles, looks. One more update for you. Go. Hold on. Go. One second. What's gone? Over half our quantity is gone. Yeah. We have the red. Yep. We have the green. We have the light blue. We no longer have orange. Oh, no. Orange See? Is gone. I've been bringing orange. Just so you know, you, my sweetie. kitchen got redone two years ago, and I did everything grain white and splashed of orange, and people were remarking about it when I photographed it on Facebook. And that's why I've been bringing the orange, because I like it, but I guess you guys like it too. You know who else likes it? Who? Our friend Rachel Ray. Oh, yes. I've always She's a big orange, fan yeah. of orange, too. And so I have some Rachel Ray orange. Nineteen ninety eight is your price on this. If you're hoping for easy pay and have a Q card, well, you're a big winner today. Ordinarily, we do three pay on the Q card anytime, any day. Today, until end of day, 
Use your Q card for any item on air online. Six easy payments. How cool is that? Six easy payments on your credit card. So certainly take advantage of that. The only exception on that easy pay is gift cards. You can't put a gift card on, on easy pay. Uh, do you have a question, Miss Stacy? Yes, a lot of people want to know. Let's bring your mic up. One second. Let's bring Stacy's mic up, guys. Okay, what you got? What you got? A lot of people want to know when you cut on the board, if the yeah. knife makes contact, um, yeah. will you scratch it? And if it's scratched, does that affect? Okay. So the it board. is a polypropylene, a hundred percent, just like the wood. It will okay. make a mark, okay? okay? But that's what a cutting board's supposed to do. It is made to do that. Nothing affects the knife, the food, or the board when you cut it. It won't make a hole all the way through. It will right. not make a hole all the way through. It does okay. not discolor, does not change, I mean, or if absorb. If you get any a odors. power drill out and go through it, you might be able to get. Again, a hole this is like the Empire State <laughs> Building analogy. Yes, you could. Yeah. Drill, power in drill the most through. extreme situation, yeah, you could you could put a hole yes. in it, but, but not just regular. But all cutting right. boards are meant to have cuts in them. They're, sure. There's no because here's the thing: if you use glass or uh, marble, just so you know, and you you see less marks, you're actually damaging your knife. Five times faster because wow. it's such a hard surface. You want so the cutting board to give a little. You yeah. want the cutting board to give a little because your knives need to last longer because it needs to go with the knife and the blade. So they're gonna make a little cut mark and that's all. But that's, that's all okay. Good. It's a cutting board. It's a cutting the board. Name is in there for a reason. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> you didn't explain <laughs> that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dolly. Of all right. So here's our story and our update on colors. Morning, we Lori. brought in, brought in twelve thousand of these. If you want red, I have five hundred left. Wow. Green, thirteen hundred, and in the blue, light blue. I have only a thousand left. All my Carolina friends need to get the light blue. I mean, remember, we've never done. I've been selling this board for John for the last like five years. We've never offered a color. We've never offered dishwasher safe. We've never offered polypropylene. Say that four times fast. And this is the first ever. So you're seeing it right out the bat. This is brand new. This is what you guys have been wanting. Everything you love about that wooden board, but just done in color, lightweight, and dishwasher safe. Now you may be wondering why this is gathering on one end of the board. Our yeah. table isn't level. Yeah, correct. And, and I moved the table twice. I pushed it well, twice. Well, there might be that too. <laughs> so that's why you're seeing it collect on one end of the board. The board on a perfectly level surface, you'll find this pooling right in the but middle. But more importantly, even though I'm off on a little angle, did you notice it's actually not going over? So that's an important point too. So even though it's a little off center, it's not going over. That's the important part. So we love that. So All remember, right. little tip. Buy this board because of the color, the lightweight, and the dishwasher safe. But do David and I and everybody else a favor. When you cook a protein, let it sit at least five minutes it within its own juices, okay, on this board, and then carve it. Let me update you on color choices. What was that? Started with over 12,000. Oh, red is gone. Bye bye, red. Okay, let me hand these over. Pretty red. To What's Justin. left? There we go, sir. Green in that baby sky right. blue. In the green, 1,000 left. And in the Carolina blue, I mean light sky blue. Sky blue, baby blue. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. How many left? 800. David, that light blue is so pretty. It's like brings out the blue in your eyes. When you say Carolina, say North Carolina. When you say Carolina, say heels. Oh my goodness. Long say same light same blue. You. Light blue. Carolina blue. Light blue. Carolina light blue. blue. Carolina. Stacy, help me. Light blue. Please. Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> See there? I was trying to storm out and I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Next time you storm out, do it with purpose. Yeah, do it. <laughs> and do it in the right direction. All right. Fantastic. Let's move along because you know what? Before long, we're going to be back into those warm weather months. Yes. And we're going to need some insulated coolers. And this is going to be the way to go because these aren't just insulated totes. You're going to get gift boxes. There's a set of five. They're two in one. Marie Louise Ludwig, come in here, my darling. Hi. Let's talk go about North these. Carolina. That's my girl. Hills. Exactly. Hi, you have everybody. to say Tar Hills because both those teams are in North Carolina. Yeah. Go. Yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> All right, so you and I presented these many we times. We did. Let's take a look at the entire set here in the middle. All right. And tell everybody what these are and what they're designed to do. They are great soft sided insulated totes. These are going to keep your hot foods hot and your cold foods cold. By customer demand, you asked us when we were coming up with new kinds of bags, they, you said, can you give us a big bag? Oh, can you also give us a small bag? So I'm going to show you how you can convert this bag from holding 40 12 ounce cans of soda down to 20 12 ounce cans of soda. So you can go from big to small. These hold so much. Wait now, until show you see. Show us what we get in the pack up, and then we'll go through our yep. color choices. You're going to get all five. So you get five different colors in here. They're all in individual gift boxes down the bottom, ready to go if you want to give it as a gift. I suggest you get these all for yourself because the warm weather is coming right now. When you go to the supermarket or when you're traveling somewhere, you really want to make sure that you keep the hot things hot and the cold things cold, most especially at the supermarket, your refrigerated and your frozen items. So Americana's back. And they're beautiful. Oh. I love it. Now, if you were to buy all these bags separately at retail, it'd be over $130, is that right, Sean? Over $130. We're how much less? 
we're a hundred dollars less. Wow. Well, that makes sense because we're wow, twenty nine wow. ninety eight. So we're a hundred dollars less than retail on this. You're getting five bags with their gift boxes. Mm -hmm. And all five are insulated, yes? Yes. Okay. They're all insulated. They have the great Thermaflex lining. They have the microband. They're completely leak proof. And we've got great colors to choose from. Something for everybody. If memory serves me, when we presented this the last time you and I, wasn't that when Katie Perry yes. joined us? Yes, Our friend Katie like, Perry. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Good and friend. She came out and she was like, baby, you're a fire. You <laughs> all right. So, this Americana. She probably sang it better than that, though. Yeah, she did. Because you and I are we're, much no, we're better. Not, we're not even no. in Berlin. No, we're not. No, we're not. We try. Oh, we're not. <laughs> all right. So this is the Americana. This is my favorite, yeah, and love I that. love it. I love all things Americana, mm -hmm. and this is fantastic. If you want those, those are very popular. We also, and these are the gift boxes, you guys. PSM, by the way. See there, all five of the gift boxes. Aren't these cool? They match the patterns, and they have little two from tags on them too. I'm in love with these. I think they're great. All right, now, <laughs> here are your choices. This is solid. So you get the green, the blue, the black, the gray, and the red, all with the matching boxes. This one is called, is this geometric? E, uh, yep. No. Nope. No, floral. We oh, got floral. floral. Floral right here. Solid. Solid. Floral. Yes. This is Americana. Uh huh. And then this is the geometric. That's right. Here's the geometric. Yep. Perfect. All right, they all fold down, they fit inside those little boxes. Great for gift giving, but they're also great for everyday living. Yeah. Take a look here. Yep. You're going to the supermarket. You don't want to bring stuff home that's all melted. Your refrigerator and your freezer things. These are easy to keep into your car. Take them into the store. They're built for performance. So these are the ones you're going to take in, use over and over again. Work great at the supermarket, but they also work great going down to the beach or packing your lunch. You can see that size is different because she's converted that from the large to the small size. Now you can flip it on its side so you can carry your hot dishes. Hot and cold in these bags. Built to last, completely leak proof, so you're thinking about putting ice in all of your beverages in for summertime activities. You can do that as well. These are from California Innovations, a company that's been doing this for over 30 years. This is what they do, and they do it great. I love it. Yeah. All right, so here, this is what I want to show you. So you've got a bag that starts out like this. This is going to hold 40 12 ounce cans of soda. But you asked us, can you make it a little bit smaller? Make a bag smaller. Well, we've done one better. So what you do is you lift up the hook and loop closure here. You go in and you feel for two little loops. You pull them out. You give it a little snap, and now, just like that, you've converted that larger bag into a smaller bag that still has that insulation on the inside. Which is great, How but about then it's that? half its size. Yep. So now, if you're looking to carry it more like the ladies a purse, then this is going to be great. When you need to expand it, maybe you're going grocery shopping and you live in a city and you carry everything everywhere you go, yep. right? Can you help me? Oh, you're, oh sure. Now, Totally leak proof. Ice in the bottom here. Yeah. Here we go with the ice. Completely leak proof. Go ahead and use ice or use your ice packs in here. But remember, Want this has well? the thermoflex lining, please. The thermoflex lining that helps to hold in the hot and hold in the cold. And what separates us from everybody else? What makes these bags so valuable is that inside this lining, California Innovations took a bigger step. They have lined it with something called microban, which inhibits the growth of bacteria that causes stains and odors. What does that mean? The integrity of the bag is always going to be there because when you spill something in it, you can soap and water wash it, wipe it down, I flip it inside out. It's going to dry nice and clean and fresh. Use these for grocery shopping. Use these this spring and summer when you're going to be out and about and you're bringing food. Maybe as you know the sporting events start in the summertime and you're supposed to bring the fruit and the water bottles or the juice boxes or whatever the kids are having when they're out and out. This is going to be great. If you're grocery shopping, not only you're not having to worry about using their plastic bags that clog the landfills, you're able to keep things nice and frosty cold so you can get them mm -hmm. cold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one bag. How about being able to do an entire week? You want to unload one for sure, everybody while we're waiting? Sure. How about being able to take these to the supermarket and oh, then maybe to the produce the stand? <laughs> But look at everything you could fit in here. Chicken breast. Reusing these over and over again, not throwing plastic bags in the landfills. And some of you have supermarkets in your area that do not give you bags. Look at this. These will hold a lot of stuff and a lot of weight. They're built with um, reinforced stitching all the way around so you don't have to worry about that bag breaking in the like parking lot. Like a butcher lot. bag. Look at that. It will keep going here. All the meat in this bag. What you got next to that, mm. my friend? Oh, you missed this one. Oh, ribs. 
Oh no, that's not real. That's pork roast, isn't it? Three pork shoulder. Bags so far in these bags right here. And also think about your dry goods. It doesn't have to be all hot, all cold, cold. Think about when you go to the beach taking your your towels and your bathing suits and your snacks and everything to go together in these bags. They're built for performance. They're nice and strong and they hold a lot. Keep on going. Tons you got one tons. more. Look All right, I'm going to go over choices real quickly. In fact, we're going to have to uh, wrap up that. on this before that one's uh, before you can get You betcha. Them. All right, so here's the story. We've got these in florals. We have them in solids. We have my favorite, which is the Americana. And finally, we have the geometric. Americana is the most popular and now the most limited. Can you imagine these all summer long? Mm -hmm. So Cute. cool for all your summer holidays and pools and going to the beach and all the things that we love doing, particularly over the patriotic summer holidays, my favorite time of year. <laughs> so this is five easy payments on your credit card. Use that cue card. You can put that on six today. We also want to let you know we've got K48044 is your item number. And price goes away end of day. We're $100 less than retail on these. Marie Louise, yeah. thank you, my darling. Thank you, David. Appreciate you. It, you know what this weekend is? National Meatball Day. It's time for meatballs. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, technically, yesterday was Meatball Day, wasn't it, Dan? Yes. We're having a whole weekend celebration. But we are having a whole yes, weekend it's, celebration. It's, it's a hey, big, um, big one. I'm not going to shake your hands just yet. Uh, Justin, can you bring me uh, a sanitizing wipe? I was handling all that um, raw meat, and I want to make sure that I don't. Um, Transmit any raw meat oh, to you. Got it. All right, sir. Um, this is Dan Mancini. He Hi, everybody. is the man that brings Mama Mancini. Who is Mama Mancini? That was your grandmother. That's right. That's my grandmother. And this is her recipe. This is it? her recipe, and actually, it's coming up on almost 100 years old soon. Oh, wow. Yeah, she brought it here in 1921 from Italy with her. So today we're talking about your mini meatballs and yes. a choice of either the beef, which is the traditional, correct, or the turkey, which is delicious. Absolutely. I think delicious. a lot of people are going to be pretty excited about this turkey yes. because it's really marvelous. But let's begin. With your grandma's recipe, one she brought with her from Italy. Yes. So my grandmother starts, uh, as you see here, you're going to have your choice of beef or the turkey. Both those proteins we source only from the United States. And then we add the ingredients you see on this table. And these are the ingredients she taught me to use, and we okay. still use them to this day. We use pecorino romano cheese, whole eggs, onions, parsley, just a little bit of breadcrumb. But what's special about these uh, today for the holiday is yeah. we added two more cheeses. So you have, oh. the, you have the Romano cheese, you have the Asiago cheese, and we also added Parmesan cheese. Yum. So this is the three cheese mini. It's a cheese palooza. It's a cheese palooza. And the sauce that comes in each of the four pouches that you get, because you're going to get 80 meatballs, is uh, we start with whole plum tomatoes, Olive oil, onion, garlic, and a bay leaf. We cook it down, and you're also getting that extra pound of sauce today, An David. Extra pound of sauce. Yes. Now you'll choose all beef, all turkey. And you can also choose an auto delivery. Now, auto delivery will send these to you every 90 days for one year. Each bag, I believe you said, has 20 meatballs. 20 meatballs with 20 sauce. Meatballs with the sauce. And then you're getting the extra sauce. Now, turkey yes. is very limited. I'll just warn you from the top. Yes. So if you're after that turkey, I would not wait too long. Beef is always a very popular choice. And these are marvelous for appetizers. They're also yes. really great if you're making sandwiches. As many of you have heard me say many times over, my mom every year at Christmas time has a Christmas party. She always invites her neighbors because she's the self-appointed mayor of her street. Yes. And um, she also invites friends from church and from folks in her life. And she ordered your meatballs one year. She said, David, they were a huge hit. Everybody loved them. Oh, that's because so they nice. loved them because they were more bite size. Yes. They were just yes. the right size, I believe is what she said. Yeah. So this is what's really great about these. They're just the perfect snacking size, appetizer, sandwiches, yeah. or even with or, pasta. Yeah. So so what we did here, David, to show you what you can do with now remember you're getting four pouches, twenty meatballs and sauce in each. Right. They're gonna stay frozen up to a year. You're gonna throw throw them out overnight, put them in a pot, and I love to say when that aroma in the kitchen is like grandma's cooking. They're mm. ready to go. And you're going to be able to make 20 bowls of pasta, Yum. right, with meatballs on it or 20 subs, just as an idea. Little, little, uh, little snack yeah. subs. Yes. And this is what you're going to want to have in your freezer for your go to quick meal during the week. The best part about these, they arrive to you frozen and fully yes. cooked with yes. the sauce. So you're just going to put these, uh, let them thaw out in the fridge? Thaw out in the fridge overnight or like me, where I'm, you know, I forgot to do that. I put the pouch in some cool water 15 minutes and bang into a pot and you're ready to go. Mm. Isn't isn't that delicious? Mm, so good. Every single time consistent. These are also 
hand rolled, aren't they? These are all hand rolled. And, and what again, difference does that make, Dan? Well, the difference is if you if you ever had a meatball that you bit into and you said, "Wow, this is so tough and so hard," chewy. That's because yeah, chewy. That's because they use a machine. We hand roll each one the old-fashioned way, the same way we would roll a larger meatball, and it creates a softer texture. Mm -hmm. And also, the sauce gets infused into the meatball. Exactly. Right. Because if the meatball has a tough exterior, the sauce can't come inside. Right. You want the flavors of that sauce to simmer right yes, into the meatball. Yes. Yes. And the sauce again is just whole plum tomatoes. So this is the beef. This is the turkey. And this is the turkey. And you know, David, this is again a recipe that my grandmother brought with her from Italy. We make these in our own facility. We don't give this recipe to someone mm. else. Mm. So like my grandmother and I would look over the pot. Now we look over bigger pots. Is Turkey's that delicious? Mm. Isn't that delicious? It's amazing. Yeah, let me cut one. So what you're getting is a pretty much all white meat with a little bit of dark meat. But when you look inside here, you're seeing all the ingredients. And David, a six and a half, six and a half ounce serving of the turkey meatballs with the sauce yeah. is 120 calories. That's it. Well, you know what? We're serving your savory now, and I believe coming up, I believe it's next, isn't it, Sean? This the sweet cobblers. Are, are the cobblers next? Oh. Okay, we have a couple items, and then and the, we have brand new cobbler coming up in oh, first nice. bite. I'm nice. going to be tasting fruit cobblers and just and oh, they have a delicious. biscuit topping. Nice dessert after these. Meatballs. Absolutely, Ooh, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Some good food today, boys yeah. and girls. And you know, and again, this mm. is the meatball that everyone loves here at QVC. And actually, the original minis are the ones that won best meatball for is customer that right? choice. Correct. So for the holiday, we we just added more cheese to it. Mm. So good. Right. Simmering over here in this pot of sauce. Yes. You're going to get plenty of sauce with these. We're going to give you an extra pound. Extra pound. Just if you're going to be feeding a big crowd, if you've got sure. you know, a big ball game that you're going to be watching. Yeah. You know, March Madness is, is uh, about to kick into full swing. Right. Or a Wednesday night, and you just want to have some pasta with sauce. And the reason we included that extra sauce is because the consumer, uh, the uh, QVC uh, customer has been asking us, Daniel, we want more sauce. Give us the sauce. So that's mm -hmm. why you have the sauce here. Exactly. Such a good, good dish. Easy for any night of the week. Yes. Great for parties. I would also encourage you to remember there's an auto delivery every 90 days for a year. Very smart. Now, if you want turkey, I have fewer than 700. The beef is incredibly popular, always is, and you're going to get three easy payments on your credit card. But you know what's also going to happen, Dan? If you use your Q card today, yeah. any item you buy, you can put it on six pay. Oh, that's great. So if you decide that you want to buy this and buy it with your Q card, put it on six pay. And you can also lock it in on auto delivery on six pay. That's great. If and you use your Q card. And if you do the auto delivery, David, you could switch between the two uh, flavors, correct? You for can. Your second like delivery, before right? your next shipment, you can, yeah. you can change yeah. flavors. Can I tell you also, if you wanted to apply for a Q card today, today would be a good day to do it. Because if you apply for the Q card and get approved and make a purchase over $25, which this is, yeah. we're going to give you a $40 QVC credit. Wow. Yeah, how about that? Wow. So now you're looking at these costing $17.75. That's incredible. Uh huh. And you know, David, a perfect opportunity here is you know when you're talking about that, you know, you put these in the freezer. You're going to want this as your go-to for a quick, easy meal during the week. Yes. Instead of running out at the last minute and grabbing some fast food for the family, which you always bring home, you spend a fortune for, and you always at the end say, "Why did we do this?" Yeah, it here wasn't you great. have grandma's wholesome, real food, ready in minutes. Real food. And you're getting 80 of them. Oh my word. 80 meatballs. This is crazy. Don't miss out on this. A pound of the extra sauce comes with this as well, not to mention the auto delivery every 90 days for a year. I want to invite everyone to stay on the line. And don't forget, two products more, oh, well, one more product after this one, and then we get to the David's first bite, which is oh. biscuit top. And it's not over yet, David. And uh, to celebrate National Meatball Day further and to thank you for all you do for us, we Casey, made, get your camera, we made a, a David size meatball here. Come for quick, you. come oh, quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Would you look at this? It's an appetizer That's, meatball. Oh, come on. And, I, <laughs> and that is a. Look at this. Let me hold it up. Here, Dan, let's hold it together. Yeah, we got a okay. picture for social. Here we go. All right, count of three. One, two, three. Meatballs. 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 <laughs> nice. There you go. <laughs> Well, that is quite well, we an honor. We figured that was apropos for the that holiday. That is the largest Mama Man Isn't that beautiful? meatball I've ever seen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you. Thank you. Wow. That is one spicy meatball. That's one that spicy meatball. meatball. That's one huge spicy, spicy meatball. Oh, my word. Have you ever seen a meatball that big? No. Stacy, can you post you, that to my Instagram you didn't, and yours? You didn't put that next to your head to show how big it was. You had it only the front. <sighs> oh, no, no. I'm not saying you have a big head. No, no, no. No, not at all. I not wanted you. to show the circumference of the. Uh, Mark, Charles, stop talking. Okay. How about a can opener? Yeah, that'd another, be better. Another new item today. That's three for me.
You <laughs> are a character. All right. Hey, we're talking about Kuhner Khan's two piece jar opener and auto attach can opener set. Now, neither of these are new products on their own. No, but the set. But together. the set is what makes this new, and yeah. we're excited about that. What we've got for you is that lid lifter. But it's also being paired with the jar opener. Yeah. And so this makes it the perfect quintessential kitchen set. Correct. Everybody wanted the original can opener as is. And again, what I love about the can opener is auto attach, safety lid, no exposed blade, and we give you the pull. So what's the difference with this is remember, instead of opening up like this, you're going like this on top. It auto attaches. You can actually catch the can. It goes around once. You can be lefty or righty. Notice the forces from up top and then from the side. Once it goes around once, it gets a little easier. You just turn this backwards like this. It comes off. You've got the bird beak. Tweet, 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 tweet. To catch the no edge. Tweet a little I know. Tweet a little the, 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 uh, the, the idea is there's no sharp edge here, no sharp edge there. This can open, I'm going to just remove this and show you, has never touched the food. No cross contamination, no breeding of bacteria like this traditional can opener. That's a blade that touches the food. That's bacteria, that's cross contamination. You could never use this to open up people food. And dog food simultaneously. This you can open up dog food to baby formula because nothing touches the food. And then, of course, there's a lot of cans out there, as you know, that have pull tabs. So we had to add this little guy. See this right there? We gave you this to go under, over. Now, the one thing we can't stop, David, is the sharp edge there. But notice my hands are away from there, and you're able to throw that out. So every can there. If that wasn't worth the price of admission, as it always has been all these years, we're going to give you the jar opener. Let me move this out of the way. The jar opener is unique because anything plastic or metal, it will patently lock itself around with three locking teeth. You go over the top. I'm going to show you what's happening underneath. Three points of contact. And all you do is grab this with that much, that little effort, it pops it right off. You do not need any strength. Any dexterity because this creates a leverage on any jar or can ready for you. So now you've got the perfect pair of the jar and can opener. I think your sauce attacked you. It did mm. a little bit because I was a little too aggressive. You might have been just a little bit too rough. <laughs> rough. 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 All right. So what we're talking about are some great color choices. So take a look here. Let me back up so you can see that. Here's the red. Beside the red is the green. Next to that is the aqua. Then we've got it for you in black. Then blue and purple is your most limited. These are $25. If you were wanting to uh, put these on Easy Pay, you can if you pay with a Q card. Our Q card ordinarily allows you to do three Easy Payments anytime on demand, but today, Mark Charles, until end of day, Q what? card purchases How much? get six Easy Payments. So that works out pretty nicely. That was a nice little wolf whistle. Like wolf whistle you had going on there. All right, so four things okay. this jar so opener will do. So this is our, your traditional jar. It's going to pop that right off, right? So what I love is the other thing that this are does. Are those the baby gherkins? The baby gherkins, otherwise known as cornichons. And what I love is, look, you don't have to take the plastic, the paper, or anything off. It just actually rips everything right off. All right. Now what we did was a little extra feature on here is we gave you this because there's a lot of bottles, spice bottles, Tabasco, nail polishes that this only goes this small. So this would not fit on there. So we gave you this guy. Notice that the wrapper's still on there. So with that much ease. I'm able to open this up and get that off, even with the wrapper on there. There's that boop. See, all done. Boop. And then, most importantly, this opens up vitamin and medication cough syrup jars that are the push twist. So, if you have any issues opening that, it opens those up easy as you please. Are those the gummy vitamins? Those are the gummy vitamins that you should have. If they had had those when I was a little boy, I probably would have taken vitamins more often. You mm -hmm. think so? But now they make them for adults because we need them as we get older. Oh, you can get them in gummy form? Yes, they're gummy form for I adults have, now. I, I, actually, that out. I actually take them every morning. Do you? Yes, I do. Well, you know what? They're more nice. fun than regular pills. They are way more fun. <laughs> are you kidding? Oh, come on now. This is K48582. We're going to invite everyone to stay on the line here. QVC.com and mobile apps are going to be the best way to get through because we are busy. Mark Charles, is there any limitation on size of can? That this no, as long as, it's, as long as it, it locks on, it works. The bird beak works on everything. It is the ultimate why because of no sharp edges here and here. I want to point out while we got the kit lid there, this was opened with a traditional can opener. Do you realize how sharp that is? Half of the household accidents with pets and people getting cuts is with this can opener. You realize the old traditional can opener caused sharp edges, not only in the can, in the can but in the lid. This is no sharp edge here, no sharp edge there. How many times were we using? Crafts like um, the Girl Scouts and the boys, cl boys Clubs are taking these and making things out of them. Or my dad used to keep the cans and put uh, nails and stuff in them. Now 
there's no sharpness, so you can actually reuse them, and no worries about anybody cutting themselves. So we love that. And again, remember, it's got the pull tab on it. So the pull tab is very easy because we put this little hook right here. Here's that pull tab. 60% of the cans are coming. You're going to go underneath so your fingernails are not there. You don't have to break any fingernails, or you have bitten fingernails like me, and I keep popping it way too far off. Sorry about that. <laughs> you don't have to be so aggressive, but I'm a little aggressive too. You know what? That didn't splash me in the eye. I'm just <laughs> being silly. Um, all right, now let's talk to you about color choices again. Uh, 1,200 of these are now gone, and you get both pieces in this set. So yep. you get the lid lifter as well as the uh, jar opener. So this is the red, beside that is the green, beside that is the aqua. Aqua. Then we take you into black. Then the blue and most limited is purple. These are brand spanking new today. Remember, if you had hoped for Easy Pay and you have a Q card, you have Easy Pay. Ordinarily, three pay today until end of day. You can put any item on your Q card and get six Easy Payments, but that's only until end of day today. That's a good deal. And it's on every item on air online that you pay for with your Q card. The only exception is gift cards. Oh, okay. Can't put a gift card on okay. Easy Pay. Again, plastic or metal, folks. This will. Sworn. How many times you those larger juice bottles and you're breaking that seal? That's what I did with this. I just broke the seal right off of it. And to have that at the ready, and I want to point out again, here's how this works with the jar. You're going to go to this widest, that's the widest jar you can go. You're going to sit it on top. You're going to give it a nice tight, and then what you're going to see is I went, oh, look at this. I actually have it off center. I apologize for that. No, actually, it's okay. It worked right there. Look at that. I had that off center and it still worked. <laughs> See that. So that's the beauty behind this. I keep thinking you need to be centered, but there's proof in the pudding. You don't well, have Josh, to. Josh, you're very aggressive today. I know. You know why? Because I had three new items. This is my last item. I'm very excited. I thought was... maybe you had had regular caffeinated coffee. Mm. That too, but that too. who's judging? <laughs> no one's judging. No judging. Just explaining. Just explaining. We have kale coming up too. Oh, I'm out. No, you don't like kale? No. Kale I'll is eat, a super I'll food. Eat, I'll eat Brussels sprouts. Poor <laughs> Devin Walleen. Right. You keep this up, and you don't get any mac and cheese. You better say you love kale. Say okay, it. yes, yes, yes. Can you All put right. it in the mac and cheese? You get mac and cheese. No, no. You can you put the kale in the mac and cheese? Sure. Then I'll definitely eat sure. it. Sure. All right. So here it is in the red. We have the green. We have the aqua. We have the black. We have the blue. And we have the purple. 2,000 are now gone. Is it mac and cheese time? It's mac and cheese time. Come on. I'm also going to pick up a kale chip and put in yours. That's okay. <laughs> that I'm fine with it. Right here. Let me grab Wait, a kale chip. You didn't say they were chips. Well, chips I can have. Crunch up some kale up in it. Oh, by the way, that's actually very good. Of course it is. See there. I never had a kale it's chip. It's Roberta's kale. You've too. never had a kale chip. No, I, I could understand that from David. No, I never. I never. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know they existed. Look here, nuts and twigs. <laughs> hey, stop it. Mm. All right, so you guys, this is Carol's mac and cheese. Okay. Uh, we should all lean over a little Ooh. bit. Because... Uh, by the way, I know this mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. This is. Oh, wait, let's take a moment of silence, shall we? Every mm. crew person knows this mac and cheese because Carol makes it almost every Sunday. And everybody in the studio eats it. Everyone in the prep this kitchen eats it too. Like it. It's seriously, like, Carol. So good. Thank you for making this today. Big mm. hug from within. This. Mm. This is the special mac and cheese you make on like holidays and special family no, no, no. dinners. This is the special mm -hmm. mac and cheese you make every week on Mondays. <laughs> oh. That's what you do. Mm. And maybe some kale chips with it. We have kale chips. Do you? Mm. Right over here. I actually never had a kale chip before. Roberta's well, is coming up with kale plants that you can grow yourself. Are you, are you listening? Too. No. Are you eating? Yes. Mm -hmm. Coming up now is first bite, you guys, yeah. and these are biscuit topped cobblers. Oh. You're killing me today. I'm gonna, really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck it. All right, I gotta go. Bye. All right, yeah. Stacy, yeah. tell everybody. Um, oh, well, I'll tell you, you can find my recipes by searching David's recipes on QVC.com. It's time for a cobbler. <clears throat> I'm coming. So excited about this. All right, you guys, this is a first bite. I'm gonna be taking my first bite, and if these taste anything like they smell. We're gonna burn the house down because yes, these are gonna be delicious. Are. These come from Mama's Biscuits in Frederick, Maryland. This is a bakery that is known for their biscuits. So the the beautiful lady you're about to meet, Leslie Riley, don't meet her yet. You're going to. She took her biscuit recipe and made cobblers, and she topped the cobblers. Oh my, with her biscuits, but they're sweet, they're fruity, they're perfect. And they're almost as beautiful as she is. Join me in welcoming to QVC Leslie Riley. Nice to see you, Angel. 
Lovely to meet you. We're huggers here at In yes, the Kitchen with David. Yes, so happy to be here. This is so exciting. Now, I understand you've been on QVC before, but not yes. with these cobblers. We, we're back with the cobblers now. Now, when we, you were here before, did you do biscuits? We did biscuits. You did biscuits. Yes, we did. Now, I did not work with you. You must have been on our gourmet holiday show. We, it was a gourmet holiday show, and now we are back with our cobblers. Okay, miss. Let's talk about it. You, Your bakery specializes in your homemade biscuits. And that's a family recipe, and those and your bakery's been in, in business for about four years. Is that right? Four years. Four years. But this cobbler recipe is topped with biscuits. We have two flavors. The first one you're doing is is our famous apple salted caramel. Now these are fresh apples, never frozen, mm. never canned. Mm -hmm. Fresh apples that are going in here, and we top it off. These these are layers of. Just biscuits and caramel, and it's our caramel crumble. So it's a sweet biscuit. It's a topping. sweet biscuit topping. We, actually, what we did, we took our famous um, apple biscuit, then we brought in our classic cinnamon biscuit, mm -hmm. and when we did that, we were actually um, we paired the two, and the two went very well together. So we're going to add a little caramel on here for you. Because that's what Look you do that. when you serve oh, it. Oh yes. Now it already has Miss Renee's. Homemade famous dark caramel. Oh, on it. but we added. I need to know this, Marine. Just add a little bit more caramel to that. All right, here we go. Uh huh. Salted apple caramel. That's a salted cobbler. apple caramel. Now we're gonna go on over oh, wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. You gonna do it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> do it, David. Baby girl, that's so good. <laughs> Would you hold this, please? Yes, sir. Because I'm busting out the happy dance now. I usually I wait till I eat both, but I'm gonna bust there it out now. There you go. That is so good. There you go. It's, oh my word! David, it's like apple pie. Everything is handmade. With biscuits. Homemade everything. Mm. Everything. Now we're gonna move over here to our. Oh oh oh! And then the next flavor is called. This is our ch cranberry cherry. Cranberry but, cherry cobbler with biscuit but, topping. David, the nice thing about this one. Do you want to know what's so nice about this? Yes, please. We have two different cherries. At the bottom, you're going to find your maraschino cherry. Okay. Then at the top, you're actually going to find a morello cherry. Oh. Now that cherry pairs very well with the cranberry because it's more of a tart cherry. Yes, ma'am. Now, do you want a little ice cream on there? Well, actually, let me have it just regular okay, first. Just have it regular. Because I want to taste it the way everyone's going to taste That's it when right. they come in right out of the out of the container. That's right. We're going to add a little and more. And then we're going to dress it up. There we go. All right. Try this that is one. cherry cranberry. Try that one. What's your thoughts on that? Okay. I'm going to need you to hold this again. <laughs> David, I'm going to need you to hold, it hold this again <laughs> so I can bust out happy dance there number go, two. Yes, there you number go. Two. There you get go. It, get it. Get it. <laughs> this is what I have available. When you order these flavors, you're getting two of whatever flavor you order. Absolutely. Now, if you want apple, We're gonna... uh, excuse me, if you want the apple salted caramel, I have 800 a set of two of those. If you want cranberry cherry, 800. I also have a combo where you get one of each, and that's most popular. 1500 remain. There is no auto delivery on this, but I should also tell you that if you have a Q card, you can put it on Easy Pay today, and you can put it on Six Pay. Hello, ice cream. There you so go. So now you've got these amazing cobblers. Cobbler is something that I grew up on. I was telling Leslie before we went on the air. Growing up down south, fruit pies, fruit cobblers is what I ate all summer long. I'm it's and this you. is the kind of thing that is so amazing because both grandmas would make it with a pastry crust. You're making it with a biscuit crust. With a biscuit crust. crust, with our famous biscuit crust. And you know what the nice thing about this is? So what I love about it is you can use the little mason jars or whatever for just like a mm. nice little dinner party. It could be yes. part of your Easter dinner. Yes. Um, you know, they're, they're so versatile, which makes them so nice. Yes. <laughs> and I can see you are enjoying that one. That's not good at all. Mm. <laughs> good, good. Oh, my word. <laughs> Leslie. You're so close to me. Why have I never come to Frederick, Maryland to see this? I don't know. You need to come visit us. Well, I'm going to be mean, there all the time. You're you going to run me off. And you can see the dancing bakers. They're there. I mean, they they would love to have you. They would there are the dancing happy dance. bakers? We have dancing bakers. I'm a dancing home cook. <laughs> there you go. All right, fantastic. Come down and dance with us. Do the happy dance. Woo! Everybody get it. Get it, get it, get <laughs> there it, get it. There you go. Okay, 800 sugar. of these are gone. Okay, which camera are we on? This one? Big one? Uh, in the sky? Which one? Oh, this one. We're gonna add a little bit of. We're oh. gonna add a little bit of. Um, Raised up chocolate a little bit. to this one. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Order this cobbler. <laughs> Get it now. Don't wait. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now, if you want the apple caramel, I have 600 of those left. That's like apple pie with biscuits. So good. Cranberry cherry, 700 left. Combo. 
We have a thousand, but that's the most popular. This is what they look like. Oops, sorry. That's how they'll come. When they come to you. And, they're and those instructions are right on top, yes? Yes, and they're foolproof. David, all you have to do is take those, take them directly from your freezer, put them right into the yeah, oven. Just peel the plastic off, right? Peel the plastic off. 375 oven. Top it with foil. Once it's baked 45 minutes, take the foil off yeah. and just let it get nice and bubbly and brown. Do I bake it from frozen? You bake it from frozen, Hello. directly from frozen. Thank you. It's foolproof. Now, I don't even you. have to worry then because then I can come home and they, they take how long to bake from frozen? About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. So your, while you're having dinner, your this oven. is bubbling in the oven, right? Oh, my word, these are so good. $49.98. You know, years and years ago, we had Added a little chocolate some cobbler paper. on the air. Yeah. It was somewhere in the Midwest. I don't remember who made it, and it was so good. But we didn't we didn't have it very long. I think the company ended up going out of business or something. Mm -hmm. And it's just been so long since we've had a cobbler on, it's on been, QVC. It's been a while. These are Look lovely. At those, those apples. Mm. Look at that. We're gonna add a little more mm -hmm. apple to that. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And you want to you want to bake it so it gets mm -hmm. nice and bubbly. Mm -hmm. You know they are comfort mm -hmm. cobblers, so they will hug you. You want to make sure that you. Oh, yes. You know my friend Carla <laughs> Hall used to be on ABC's The Chew. Yes. She used to say that comfort food should hug you. Oh, it should. It yes. should. That's the way yes. you want it. My girl Carla would say comfort food should hug you. <laughs> it it the, should. We're now half gone on these sugar. Excellent. Excellent. All right, these are going quickly. If you want the caramel apple. I have 500 left in caramel apple. If you want cranberry cherry, 700 left. And if you can't decide, and I can totally understand that, go with the combo. You'll get one of each, and we have fewer than 500 left in the combo. Now, I know a lot of people are watching this, listening to it, and now they're ordering. I don't want you to dare hang up because if you trust me when it comes to food and you trust me when it comes to cobbler, because I grew up, well, I cut my teeth on cobbler <laughs> as a little boy down south. This is the bomb diggity. What I need you to do, sweet pea. Is what? Make more. I, I will. Because we're going to need it. Oh, yes. And maybe we'll talk about some other flavors, too. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of flavors. We got at least 10 different flavors. You got some peach for me. We got a bourbon peach. A bourbon peach? <laughs> okay. Can I have a squeeze? <laughs> yes, you can. You sweet it thing. was my pleasure. I adore you. Oh, my oh pleasure. what a sweetheart. <laughs> you guys get this cobbler. Oh, my word. So good. I can't wait to see you again. Oh, I know. You promise you'll come back and see me. I promise. All right. I will be back. All right. <laughs> hey, if you are looking for more great recipes, this is a book I know a little bit about. This is my third cookbook, and it was just released right before Christmas. And 110 recipes. You're going to be able to get this today for $19.48. Every one of the photo, or excuse me, recipes has a photo. Every recipe is 10 ingredients or less. And you can read all about it on QVC.com. If you put that on your cue card today, you can get it on six easy payments. Which is also very nice. So we'll take you shopping for that and a whole lot more. We're with you for 20 more minutes today. I know we are very busy on our phone lines for the cobbler, so please continue to dial in. Use mobile apps and QVC.com, your best way to get in. Now, let's talk a little bit about kale. Kale sometimes gets a bad rap. But if you grow your own kale, you can snack on this all summer long, right? Make salads out of it, make kale chips out of it. Do what I think is one of the best things you do with kale Caesar salad with kale instead of romaine. This is a really exciting vegetable. Let's talk to Devin Walleen, who's here. Good to have you back, sir. Good to see you, David. Always a pleasure to have you here. I think this is your first time in the kitchen with David, isn't it? It is my first time, actually. You and I worked together on the, right, on the other yeah, shows, but not on this one. Here. Well, good to have you here. Thank you. This is amazing. Talk to us about kale, because I think for a lot of folks, they hear about kale, there are a lot of misunderstandings about kale. Well, you know, this is the first time where Brutus has ever brought a kale to QVC because over the last 20 years, we just simply haven't found a kale that was both tasty and beautiful. So when we found these kales, mm -hmm. they are some of the tenderest, most sweet, delicious kales that you can use in your morning smoothies, oh, nice. in your evening soups. That, you know, my favorite thing to do, get a can of soup, put it in your little saucepan, add some fresh homegrown kale, nice. and it gives that gorgeous texture. On your BLTs, maybe make it a BKT with some kale. Oh. It's pretty good. Fantastic. It's pretty nice. Or in your stir fries, the ways to use kale are endless. And I, I personally eat kale about three times a week. Oh, very good. Well, look at you. You're thin and you're healthy. So My muscles are 100% kale fed. I see that. All right. Hey, let's take a look here at what you're getting. You're going to get six pieces. Yes. How many varieties? Well, you're getting three varieties, okay. and they're all just slightly different, but they are all so full of flavor. You're getting two of the, the winter boar, which is this gorgeous green one. Here, the first one is the Russian red. You see those striking red stems. These are not only delicious, but they are beautiful in the garden. And with Roberta's, we would never bring plants that are just tasty. They gotta be gorgeous too. Now, I love kale salads. 
And like you were saying, one of my hot uh, kale salad recipes that I make recently, not really a recipe, I get store-bought Caesar salad dressing, put it on some fresh kale, and it's delicious. Oh, that's a great idea. The second variety was the red boar that we just saw. And right here, we're looking at some kale chips that my brother, he is an expert at making these. You put a little olive oil, you bake them at 350 for about 12 minutes, and you have a nice crunchy little snack. Mm. And then the final one is the winter boar. Um, I, I saw a recipe of yours. It's like a cannellini bean sausage stew yes, with kale. Yes, it does have kale. With this winter boar kale, that is the ultimate autumn or winter It's a nice way delight. to hearty up a soup. Oh, absolutely. And you're also giving yourself what a lot of people call, don't they call it, consider kale a superfood? It is a superfood because yeah. not only is it delicious, but it is high in so many nutri nutrients like your, your fiber that you need, your vitamin C, your iron. And you, you, know, all you these can read things. all up on yes, that online, absolutely. which is great. So let's talk about planting kale yes. because that's what you guys are best at. Right. So Telling us about how to plant various things. What we love about kale is that we call it a cut and come again kale. Uh, because when you have them growing in your containers or in your garden, here I have a little planter mixed with some pansies underneath so it looks even more gorgeous. So these plants that you're going to be planting are going to be ready to start harvesting in like 30 days. And so what I mean cut and come again, you take your little scissors, you cut a few off that are about the size of your hand, you, enough for a salad or for your stew, and when you cut those off, that is going to make them generate new foliage that you can then bring on. So and it's I'll be able to be eat on this better. for about four months, is that right? Four solid months. And we even have a little kale slaw if you'd like to oh, try it. Oh, I would like to try some this kale slaw. This may even be uh, one of your homemade recipes. Uh huh. Looks familiar. It does. Mm. It's great. So fresh. Cranberries in there too, which really helps to brighten it up. It's got that little crunch. Mm -hmm. Lettuce doesn't have uh, other uh, cabbages. You get the too crunch from the kale, yeah. and then you get the chewiness from the cranberries. There's also carrot in there. It's really tasty. This is what's so great about this. Use this in your smoothies. Yes. Make a kale Caesar salad. Anything you like. And we're not going to ship these, Devin, until it's safe to plant. Let's take a Absolutely. look at our zone map. Yeah, you know, we want to make sure that your growing experience is, is a wonder. Uh, so we're going to ship these plants to you as soon as it is right in your area. So when you receive the plants, that means you got to get growing. And these plants are so wonderful because they will be ready to start snacking in as little as 30 days. And you're going to be able to continue to harvest more and more uh, for months on end. Stacy, you want some <laughs> kale chips? I love This is my kale brother's chips. recipe. My brother Derek, you guys all know. He, what he does, he gets a little a handful of uh, so kale, cuts it up, puts a little olive oil on it, bakes it at 350 for 12 minutes, and you have these gorgeous, crunchy little things. They're tasty and delicious. And they're nicely, lightly salted. You could put I a little soy sauce on there mm -hmm. uh, and the garlic. I, I work with kale all the time for smoothies and, and salads. The key to it is what you do is you massage it. Oh, yeah? And it yeah. helps break down the tough fibers to make it a little softer on the palate. So when you say massage it, what do you mean? Yeah. So you would rip, okay, you don't want the center stem, so I'd right? Rip so you the rip leaves the leaves off. off. Yeah. And then when it's in a bowl, you just, you give it a massage. Like this? Yeah, yeah. show some love. And that kind and of, it helps that softens it. tenderizes it. Yeah, it'll actually break it down a little bit. Um, and then you put on your dressings or whatever, and it's really great. See what I'm doing, guys? With garlic, thinly sliced garlic. Olive oil, white wine, red pepper flakes, and you saute it. And oh that's my your gosh! Side dish. My little sister mm. Stephanie, she likes to add a little curry they powder. Are. They are good, mm. aren't they? Good. No, yep. but you did good massaging that. I'm oh, very thank impressed. you. Expert massager. I'm learning to work more with nuts and twigs. Mm -hmm. There you go. See there? I call her nuts and twigs. <laughs> Stacy is a very plant-based person. Hey, mm -hmm. me too. I'm vegetarian. Yeah. I don't know if you are, She's but not quite vegetarian. I, I can't go fully all the way because I work here and I love my corgi's wings <laughs> too much. <laughs> And those Mama Mancini meatballs, but but I have incorporated probably 85 percent in great. kale with the fiber. Kale is is such vitamins is great. a huge part of my life. I use it, you know, two three times a week. I loved making the stir fries or the soups. Making salads is so easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. My sister, she loves making smoothies in the morning because they're healthy, they're energizing, and mm. they're so easy and full of nutrition. No. Uh, these play uh, best in containers, Devin? Well, you know, I love them having uh, having them in containers because on your patio, it's you know, you walk outside and you can just start picking right away. But they are also gorgeous in your flower beds, just kind of tucked in. Well, they're um, pretty colors. And too. how much light? They're gorgeous. These like the full sun and they like to be <clears throat> they like to be watered regularly and fertilized yeah. regularly. And this planter right here, this is about all six of your plants fully grown. Wow. Look how beautiful this is. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but when you start cutting off the foliage, it allows it to regenerate new foliage that you can then harvest that later. So it really just, you cut and then you come again later, get more and more and more. Well, let's take a look at that Roberta's Gotta Grow guarantee. Tell us about this, Devin. Yeah, we want to make sure you're happy. So we're going to assure your satisfaction for perennials for one year and then the annuals and tropicals for 90 days from the time of
the shipment. So if for some reason you're not satisfied, just uh, give us a call and we'll make sure you're happy. Okay. All right, Devin, it's great to have you back, buddy. David, good follow me you. this way. Absolutely. And uh, say, say, say uh, fill us in on something. I asked you to go to David's Instagram page, David Venable, um, because we do a poll question. And since we have the Corky's ham and the St. Clair side dishes in the show, we were asking you to cast your vote for whether you are a side person, a side dish kind of person, or a main entree. And what do you know? 67% of you are going with side dishes all the way. Couldn't agree more. All right, this show flying by. One more item, KitchenAid, to round out the show. Back to you, David. All right. Hello. One more item, Tina V. Boy, we blew up that ice cream maker, didn't we? We did. Uh, the kitchen ice cream maker is gone. Now we're going to show you how easily you can process your favorite foods, KitchenAid style. Let's mm -hmm. come over here and say hi. I call her Tina V. I'm David B. She's Tina V. This is <laughs> Tina Varelli, our KitchenAid representative now for three years. Yes. This is the new and improved food processor. It is. This is the one that we saw last year, not just this year at Housewares, but last year when it was introduced. And this has a lot of improvements, doesn't it? Does. It does. It does. Here, right here, all you do is one click and you're ready to go. So no more twisting and locking and making sure everything's lined up. But you still get all that great performance. There you go. There's some zucchini chips. How about some cucumber chips? Now you're going to get three different thicknesses. Look at that. So great. And you can use that little slot so you're going to get a wider feed tube and a smaller feed tube. There's some celery and how about some carrots. I noticed you increased the speed of the harder vegetable. I did. That was a good call out there. And it's even great for stacking up those little items like radishes, that little feed tube, because when things are held in place, you know, and held upright, you're going to get a nicer slice. Now, we have a great sale price on this, Tina, but that sale price goes away end of day today. Take mm -hmm. a look at those poker chips, or I mean, um, cucumber chips. Right. And you're going to get three different thicknesses. So this is the thinnest. Cucumbers. This is the medium slice, and this is the thicker slice. So you're going to get three different slicing discs, two different shredding discs. Now, um, I was just. This is pizza dough. It is pizza or is it dough. East dough. It is pizza dough. Pizza dough. Mm -hmm. Patting the pizza dough. You can't help but pat it when you pass you it. You can. It's so All pretty. All right. So here it is in the black. I also have it for you in ice blue. Most limited. That's also exclusive to QVC. Mm -hmm. Also exclusive is the gloss cinnamon. Beside that is the red, and then we have it for you. Is that contour? It contour is silver? contour. Contour silver. Yes. Now you're also going to love that everything stacks right inside the machine yes. for easy storage. All the discs and all the cutting blades, mm -hmm. um, or I should say the disc rather, the shredding disc. And then you also get a cutting blade and a dough blade, That's which you'll right. use to work on that pizza dough. Mm -hmm. And then there's a use and care guide with some recipes inside. No yes. recipes. There oh, is a digital recipe book on QVC.com, right on the product page. On the same item number. Same item. So number. if you go to this item number on QVC, then you'll be able to see some recipes there. Really great recipes. Piece. Awesome. Yes. And then you're also getting in the feed tube and then the little pushers here that'll help you guide the food right into the blades. Mm -hmm. So all this coming together for you at a great sale price. Uh, it was sold separately $172 and three pennies. We're $52.05 less. That's right. And with reduced shipping and handling, we're almost $60 less. So delivered. Great. Yep. So this is David. What it's going to look like when you get it home. All the blades and discs stack inside, so you don't have a drawer full of sharp blades. You don't need an extra storage container. So here is going to be your thickest slice and these you can see they're reversible so that's your medium slice on one side and your coarser shred on the other side and then here is your thin slice and your fine shred so three discs these are stainless steel and dishwasher safe here is your multi-purpose blade great for chopping pureeing making salsas and this is your dough blade and then you have your adapter so i showed you how it just lifts off and clicks down in so when it lifts off i wanted to point out that the coupler this is called a coupler it is more in the style of a blender coupler what that means is that is sealed so when you're making um you know watery items like salsas or gazpachos, you're not going to have leakage through that. Lots of times that is an open hole there and it's not completely sealed. It also makes it an easy way to clean it. The lid is great 
dishwasher safe, BPA free, really high quality plastic. This is a leak resistant silicone seal. And the lid fits in this slot here so it holds it in place for you. So you can either tilt it up or tilt it down or take it off when you want to pop it in the dishwasher. So let's load up the disc and we're going to shred some cheese. So all the blades here you can put into two different positions. So when it's flush with the top of the bowl, then it's ready to use. If you give it a quarter turn, it drops down. That's for when you want to stack up the different discs. So you can check that out. And here we go. Yummy shredded cheddar cheese. Great for your mac and cheeses. Oh, yeah, look at what I did there. there. <laughs> you know what you did? You did planks of cheese. I did. Look at that. That was good to show you. It does do really nice planks of cheese. You can also Great do Great for cheese and crackers. Let's flip that over there. And try a, a, a shredding. And get shredding cheese. That's what I intended to do. So here we go. Planks or, of cheese. Or really what you had planned all along. I don't know, David. Show us both. <laughs> So funny. Never let them see you sweat. That's right. So just pop that off, pop out the blade, and you have your beautiful shredded cheese or our your little so sliced cheese. cheese. It actually does a really nice job. That's a of perfect slice for crackers. Cheese. Look at that. Yeah. Cheese and crackers. Who knew? Let's try your shreds here just to make sure they're okay. You know, fit to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are. They're good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They marry nicely with the kale chip I just had. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah. You like kale, don't you? Kale chip nachos with some cheddar on oh, top. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? That would be good. And they would be, oh yeah, much lower in carbs, right? Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Okay, so this is a really great recipe, you guys. It's a berry crumble. So you make the crust. It's a simple crust with butter, flour, and some almonds and some sugar. And you press part of the crust in the bottom of your pan, bake it, save the rest of the crumble to go on top. So you're making all of that in your food processor. Here I'm going to show you how to make the fish. So blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and some jam. The jam is going to help all those berries to kind of gel together and to thicken up and make a yummy, you know, not too wet sauce. And there's some lemon juice. And then we're just going to puree that. So all the berries are in. And you have three speeds down here in the front of the unit. So there's a low speed. There's a high speed, and then this is your puree speed. You can listen to them all. So there's the low speed. You can hear that that's more gentle. There's your high speed. And if you hold down the pulse, it's actually like a turbo speed power there. So you take your yummy berry filling, and you pour that over your crust. This smells so good. It reminds me of that raspberry sorbet we made. Oh, I can smell it from here. Drizzle that down over, spread that out evenly, and then you're gonna put the crumble over the top there. So fruity! Just mm. pretend that that's all spread out there well. Okay, and it takes a lot of crumble oh. on the top. And David, these are dynamite. We demolished these back in the kitchen. Yeah? Yeah. Are these are these a sample that they I can taste? They are, they are. If you like any kind of a berry crumble bar. Oh, I'm on it. Really good. Uh huh. Mmm. Isn't that good? It's oh, so yeah. fresh. Really good. Mm hmm. And you can make it all with your nine cup food processor. Mmm. And you get the crunchy too. You do get the crunchy. I like that a lot. Okay, so I told you you're going to have a cleaning trick that you can do here. Because you have that sealed coupler in the bottom, you can just pour in some water. And this is great when you're doing a lot of prep and you're going from recipe to recipe and you really want to do a quick cleanup. I do this all the time. Put on your lid. And remember, we have that leak resistant seal there. So I'm just going to pulse and it's going to do a nice quick rinse for me. Look it, all clean. So give that a quick rinse and you're ready to go on to your next recipe. If it does get very, very dirty, it can go in the dishwasher, but that's just a really nice cleanup that is quick and easy. Now, with the machine, we're going to get all three of the slicing or shredding discs. That's right. Here's your cutting blade as well as your dough blade mm -hmm. and your food pushers so that you can guide those right down the feed chute. Now, in addition to, well, this is contour silver, and I've got it repeated down here. So if you'll let, let me, pardon my stepping in front of you. This is the black. Beside that is the ice blue, exclusive to QVC. Beside that is gloss cinnamon, also exclusive. Then the red, and then finally the contour silver. This sale price, well, actually, it sold separately, 172.03. We're 52.05 less 
with the reduced shipping and handling, almost $60 less delivered. And we're, uh, this is all about the sale price going away end of day today, so you want to get this now while the getting is good. That's right. So now I have that dough blade installed, and we're going to make some yummy yeast rolls. So first, I'm just pulsing to combine all those dry ingredients. Love how that lid just kind of holds up in its place for me. Your butter here is super cold. A little butter. Actually, soft butter for the rolls. Oh, for yeast rolls. Cold butter for biscuits and, and pie, pie crust. crust. Got right. it. Thank you. So now we can pulse that in. Does such a great job. And now we're going to put it on run. And you can use that feed tube in the top to drizzle in your liquid where I have my yeast. Now, when the yeast is in the liquid like that and it begins to foam a little bit, is that, is that what's called blooming? It is what's called blooming. And that's how you know that your yeast is active. Right. You know, yeast can expire. So you want to be careful about that because people don't tend to use yeast as often as other baking ingredients and they can go bad your pants. That's right. So look at what a great job it's doing. So it all pulled together. It's forming into a ball. And as it works around the bowl there, it's doing that kneading for you. So you just want to let it go around a little bit. The like action, a of yeah, that action is actually rolling the dough into little balls and combining them together. And pretty soon, you're going to have just perfect yeast dough rolls. You're going to have a little tornado of yeast rolls yes, in there. Yes, that's All right. right. So, as we wrap up on this, I'll remind you that sale price does go away end of day. Will I see you Wednesday? Uh, yes. Wonderful. Yes. We'll for see sure. you then, my darling. I'm going to come over here and join Miss Stacy. Stacy Lou. Yes, darling. How was the chat today? It was awesome. You wait till you see the number and great ideas people have for your curated collection of kitchen uh, utensils. utensils. Yeah. Perfect, because awesome. we're just starting to work on it and we have not landed on all five pieces. But what I am hearing is that everybody wants the spider. Oh. Yeah, yeah big okay. time. Big time. And so we're definitely going to include that and we're going to include some other things. want to welcome the over 300 people, actually 305 brand new shoppers Great. during our show today who made their first QVC purchase. So a big foodie salute to all of you. Hey, Justin, don't walk away with my cheap board. I, gotta, I need you closer. It's okay. They can see you. It's fine. Wednesday is four hour show beginning at eight, and I'm making some famous garlicky guacamole that Ooh. is uh, compliments of Tara Tesher. <gasps> have you ever oh. had her garlicky guac? No, but I've heard it's legendary. It's so good. Mm. She brings it when we have parties, she brings it. Uh, today's special value Wednesday will be uh, Tara's Temptations dinnerware. Awesome. And Monday's show is Stacy's step by step cooking. And what time and where? 6 p.m. QVC2, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you don't have it on your cable, you can watch on QVC.com or through your mobile apps or, or on Facebook. Or Stacy Stuff for QVC. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get rid of my apron, grab a sweater, and we're going to go outside and we're not going to kill bugs, we're going to trap them. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're eventually going to expire. Well, you know, yeah. you're going to get rid of bugs. Yeah, exactly. So, all part of our 24 hour gardening event that is, uh, had taken a break during In the Kitchen with David, and now we're starting back up at 4 o'clock all the way through the end of, or 3 o'clock all the way through the end of the day. So, stick around. I'm back in moments after this short break. We'll see you tomorrow for step by step cooking. All right. Thanks, thanks my love. friend. Spring is just around the corner, and style lovers everywhere are getting ready by refreshing their wardrobes with bright designs in fashion, accessories, and more, just in time for sunny days and warmer weather. Hello, Spring Style starts tonight at 12 p.m. Eastern and all day tomorrow on QVC. Add whimsy to your home with these folk art figurines from Jim Shore. Don't miss it, starting Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern and Monday throughout the day on QVC2.